cannot accommodate so many people sorry under compelling yeah, circumstances not possible not possible like they have your lordship's kind leave to file and matter and move in no, next no, no, week no no for the matter work order will be no, issued no, on no, 18th october whatever whatever, whatever. you should have command work order will be issued no, i have i have accommodated all persons till yesterday today i will not be taking up any matter come back on monday even if you have urgency only my lord fixed on 16th on monday Please mention it on Monday, sir. Yesterday, technical technical bit has been rejected, my lord. Six before the uh, DM. Nothing doing. My lord, sale is scheduled to be held tomorrow. The very next day. DRT two is not. No. Call on the list. For judge, for judgment, item number one. In view of the above discussions, WPA one five four six three of twenty twenty three is allowed. Thereby directing the respondent number one competent authority under the nineteen seventy two act to look into the complaints of the petitioner as to the alleged irregularities and malfunctioning of the association and its board of managers with regard to the Diamond City West Apartment Owners Association pertaining to the residential complex of a Diamond City West, and to hold a preliminary inquiry for the purpose of forming an opinion under Section sixteen B two of the seventy two act to ascertain. Whether there was any necessity to issue a show cause notice to the managers, to board of managers of the said association, as contemplated under the said provision of law, such exercise shall be completed by the respondent number one within a fortnight from date. Outcome thereof shall be communicated in writing to the petitioner in the event the CA is of the opinion that there are prima facie indications, evidence of any irregularity, the CA shall issue a show cause notice within the contemplation of 16B. Two of the seventy-two act and takes necessary steps following due process of law pursuant thereto. No rest to court. Cost urgent certificate. My lord, I appeal for the respondents, my lord, in this Deep matter. Job. My lord, in view of the nature of the order, may I only pray for my lord stay for a very limited period, my lord. An order of stay is prayed for, but in view of the nature of the order, such prayer is refused. Next. Yes, call on the list. Your lordship, may I with our junior adviser? Uh, Please bring a senior at two p.m. with you. I'll have a talk with him. He is not able to teach his juniors the proper way. Please Call on the next matter. Do we mention item number two for withdrawal? Yes. yes. Two who is appearing? My lord. I, my lord. You at want my to? instance? At my instance, my lord, we want to uh, withdraw this uh, writ petition. Yes. My lord, before withdrawing, there are certain facts I need to indicate to the court. Then, my lord, my lord, uh, it relates to a issue. May I just two minutes? May I yes, just yes. explain? My brought uh, under the scheme of IBC in a liquidation proceeding from NCLT, and this company had valuable assets which were the trademarks of the company. After the company was purchased, the new uh, purchaser got to know that the erstwhile directors has created third-party right over those trademarks. Though the liquidator informed the trademark authority not to deal with the assets because those were the assets of the liquidation estate, in spite of that, trademark authority has done that. Being aggrieved, we filed this writ petition. A limited protection was granted to the writ petitioner that the third party suspended board of directors should not use this trademark. Against that, they preferred an appeal, and the, in the appeal, this writ court's order was stayed. Simultaneously, there was a, a suit that was filed by the suspended board. They didn't secure any injunction. They came up before the appeal court. Appeal court granted them an interim injunction. Wherein upon hearing the parties that injunction was vacated and ultimately it was hold that that transaction is completely fraudulent. They went up to Supreme Court. Supreme Court has deprecated them. Ultimately, they withdrawn the, uh, the SLP. In the meantime, the trademark authority has rectified the records. So since the trademark authorities has rectified the record, as on that, nothing remains in this writ petition. My cause of action goes. In that event, I want to withdraw this matter. Shiku, I'll just record that uh, your cause of action has is no longer yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. I, I think that would be, otherwise, if my lord has to record so much. Because... Uh, Otherwise, it would be a, a, an exposition on the merits. Sir. I understand. But it was my duty to indicate no, no, why, why I am withdrawing. Very good. No difficulty. The learned counsel for the petitioner submits that during pendency of the writ petition, comma, the cause of action for the writ petition has become infectious in view of the grievance of the petitioners having been mitigated. For sub next para. Accordingly, on the prayer of the petitioners, WPA 24933 of 2022 is dismissed as withdrawn without any order as to cost. My Lord, the interim order was there. Interim, uh, interim order, if any, uh, stands automatically vacated as a consequence of the above. Great. Thank you. Great. Item 3. 
my lord i am for the xml number my lord i am appearing for the petitioner my lord we want to withdraw the uh, petition because the bridge and roof have floated another tender in which we want to participate and it is this is not withdrawn we cannot participate in the other one what did you challenge in the writ petition uh, my lord uh, we were re uh, rejected in the technical round you were not blacklisted learned council for the petitioner submits that the bridge and roof has floated a further tender in which the petitioner wants to participate first up accordingly the petitioner does not want to proceed any further with the writ petition first up <coughs> In such view of the matter, WPA one nine four seven nine of twenty twenty three is dismissed as withdrawn without any order as to cost. Interim order, if any, stands vacant. Okay. <laughs> Top item, item four. I appear for the petitioner, my lord. Yes, we've prepared yes. the notes, my lord, to satisfy my conscience. May I say one thing, my lord? After the hearing, lordship, I had the chance while preparing the notes to look at the. the law and the position it appears my lord that what we have done is a very shoddy job there were several points which were in our favor i think i owe this court and my clients an apology but i have tried to cover the points which i had argued day before yesterday in a little more detail only for that reason lordship but i have you not included you have given a copy of this to lordship i have if you want to use your uh, i mean you can lord we will exchange copies and lordship will okay. consider my note and appreciate which is more shoddy Which is more shoddy? No, no, lordship. But I am serious, lordship. The lordship has done an excellent job. The note is very exhaustive. Lordship will be. And my lord, one more thing. It's another example of uh, irresponsible conduct, lordship. The affidavit and reply was served on the other side, but we had not filed it on the last occasion. My lord, may that be taken on record only. My lord, since. There is an affidavit of opposition on record. May the reply just be taken on record. My learned friend had it uh, during the hearing. It was served on time within the time indicated. Subject to whatever. If my lord, I had received it. Same as submit. But I, I apologize again. The affidavit and reply filed by the petitioners as well as the written notes of arguments filed by the parties today be kept on record. Full of hearing is concluded. Judgment is reserved in the matter. Mr. Sarkar, I may not be able to do it before the vacation. As my lord, do I uh, appreciate your agony? But whichever way I go, you have to wait only for the puja vacation. Lord, lord. one prayer may I make? Yes, Mister. I had a, I had a, my lord, document, my lord. They, that has been given by my client, state, my lord. If lordship keep it with his lordship's record, no, lord. not like that. Not lordship, like. Lordship. If you have not argued on it, I won't. Lordship, lordship. Thank you. Grateful, my lord. Thank you. Yes, I apologize. Thanks. Grateful, lord. Thank you. Top matter item five. Yes. Uh, that matter. Yes, sir. What is your case, Mr. Shabud? I am paying for my lord. I am seeking my lord puja for my new puja, my lord. What about service? Service, my lord. I have some Mr. Banerjee. Mr. Banerjee, don't pull Mr. Banerjee physically. No, no, no. Let him come. Yes. Yes. So Mr. Shabud is appearing. Give him permission, Mr. Banerjee. He is appearing. You are not giving permission. But so I will tell you lots of very candidly. Uh, this is regarding a puja permission. I personally believe that everybody should be permitted. But that apartment, not the. There's new, a policy. Uh, as a policy, that it is new pujas will not be. In fact, for this particular reason, the, the online portal, which is now the only way of getting permission, does not have any provision uh, for going to the next page without uploading your last year's permission. Mr. Banerjee, I mean, can you do that? I mean, you have your discretion to refuse. So, I, I'll tell you, Rachi, why. What is the basis of the this? reason? Is not. I'll tell you, Rachi, but not. I have tried from everywhere. I have not got a written piece of paper on this. I am telling you a lot of very candidly because I am the fair to the court. Mm -hmm. But the same answer I get every time because I have argued this in many courts. Yes, obviously. Unsuccessfully. Obviously. <laughs> Unsuccessfully. <laughs> yes. But every time you know, there is a logic behind it is because mm -hmm. uh, puja is a public affair. Mm -hmm. So Second. whenever there is a public affair, mm -hmm. there is a duty on the administration also to manage the puja. Because it is not that the organizer conducts the puja. No, no, definitely. Uh, but there is also a public in. I mean, I go, go ingress, egress. The administration be, does an immense job during puja. Yes, immense yes. job. So that is why I mean, they are today. But I mean, it is. I mean, we have to also consider one factor that they have to also consider. But I mean, you may not. You may be performing the puja, but today I have to arrange for police. Uh, to so that is the difficulty. You know the difficulty before I say even. Yes. I mean, it's like. Stopping filing in the computer section. No, no, absolutely. It's exactly I, like that. Uh, but I mean, the thing is, this you know, today administration also has shortcoming in the sense that if you are doing pujas, 
if you are arranging for today i have to have a man for to do but can you cut out in a blanket fashion no new puja will be allowed can how can you do that i cannot discriminate that i'm going to allow some and not allow others no yes so, on case to case basis you can that is whether why you can provide i say nobody is allowed No, I know. As, as I said, I've argued this point before. Not of course. What is your? They are not giving part. Not not taking your application because that, they, that cannot take that online. Doesn't. And there is no officer who is authorized to take this. Uh, is the courts courts for us? They are. Obviously, I, courts. They they'll, they'll do it. Uh, in 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 Aliya, they are. Malar, Malar, Mr. Benaji was there. Malar. No, I will edit. I am not going. They are. They are. This point unsuccessful before so many courts. I cannot remember. <laughs> Mr. Banerjee, you are the, the standing council. Yes, standing council. Senior yes, standing council. Designations are changing every day, so I forget it. <laughs> and you were yes, remaining constant, but so I'll give directed to be given to the, the application will be given to the to your office and no no to the SDO. No online. Sir, and they let him consider. Well, well, I will file on the online portal. They will consider. No no online portal. He won't. No online file. portal cannot be opened for no, you. Only. That's the policy of the state. Well, your lord says order. Uh, that, no, that even if I order, they have to do it. He is going to go to that area. I mean, after the first page, <laughs> so that is why he won't be able to go in. No, he won't. So that's why this has to be considered by the SDO. You will actually have to SDO. SDO is a party here. That is. Yes, yes, yes. My dependent is well paid. My lord. Where is the SDO? Which is page thirty-nine, my lord. P four, my lord. Four, this one is four. Well, so that is why now we have left this open. If whichever one court directs, now we will give SDO. I get it, Mr. Man. I get it. Some screening has to be there. So this is your, and we put it on the court. <laughs> Naturally, yes. The learned counsel for the petitioners contends that the petitioners did not get an opportunity to apply for organizing a uh, puja in the oncoming Durga Puja festival. Puja so petitioners submitted that the online portal is accepting only applications in cases where the <laughs> committee concerned had previously held a puja. Puja so next para it is submitted that. to organize a puja is a basic right of the petitioners which is being curtailed for sub next para learned senior standing counsel appearing for the state submits that as a matter of a policy comma the state is not accepting applications for new puja comma in view of extreme administrative inconvenience for sub it is submitted that already the administration is overburdened during uh the durga puja festival and comma as such comma the application of the petitioners could not be accepted online for sub next para keeping on balance the rights of the petitioner to uh organize a festival comma which is an implicit part of the right to live with dignity of the petitioners comma and the administrative exigencies comma the petitioner's application ought to be accepted and considered by the respondent authorities for the purpose of ascertaining whether sufficient uh, arrangements can be made for the petitioners your lordship gives it to me to consider i will not file you shall not i shall not i'm telling your lordship but i know the attitude of the government on this So that's why I'm gonna let me not play foul with the court. But Mr. Banerjee, uh, without ascertaining whether you can actually do it, can I direct it to be allowed? To ask me to consider and grant subject to conditions that I mean. <laughs> But I'll tell you lots because this will be a standard. And, 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 this is good. fairness going too far. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because uh, this is what has happened in many cases. That's why. Because I will not grant. Very well. Very well. Thank you very much. Uh, in view of the above discussions, comma WPA two four one zero nine of twenty twenty three is. disposed of by directing by granting liberty to the petitioners to file an application manually for the purpose of organizing a puja as sought by the petitioners before the respondent number 4 that is the sub divisional officer comma tomluk comma within a week from date full stop if such an application is filed by the petitioners comma the respondent of four shall accept the same and grant permission to the petitioners subject to all due compliances by the petitioners and all formalities being complied with by the petitioners in due process of law first up such exercise shall be concluded within 3 uh, days from the filing of such application by the petitioners no rest to cause urgent sir Thank you, Mr. Banerjee. Thank you. So. I am being very candid. No, I know you are always candid. <laughs> Authority will act on the. Sir, I will give you the order. Act. 
I'll dispose of the report. Same, same order, I'll pass. Same order. No, my lord, what happened already we have applied. Yes. But they are not... That application has been accepted. And by post we have de delivered and they have accepted. I'll give you liberty. That, that will be lost by them. It will create more problems. You will have to come again. I'll give you permission. Just as the previous matter, you will apply within... Within a week, you can do it tomorrow also. Whenever you apply, within three days, they'll have to consider. The petitioners complain that the petitioner's application for... Organizing a Durga Puja on the petitioner's own property is not being accepted by the authorities. Fusa Planet Council for the state submits that the state, comma, as a matter of policy, comma, is not accepting new applications for pujas. Fusa, next para. However, comma, keeping in view the petitioner's right to organize a puja, comma, which is an integral part of the right to live with dignity of the petitioners, comma, WPA24268. Of 2023 is disposed of by granting liberty to the petitioners to file a fresh application for organizing puja as sought by the petitioner within a week from date before the response number seven that is a subdivisional officer egra first up if such an application is filed comma the response number seven shall consider the same and comma within three days comma grant permission to the petitioners to organize puja subject comma of course comma to the petitioners complying with all due formalities otherwise required by law the parties shall act on a server copy of this order without insisting upon prior production of a certified copy no address to cause surgeons in this matter my lord already passed the judgment on 25th august your lord six order this one no, no another matter my lord my lord himself passed this order That's secular judgment nature i'm suffering for that NKDA case, right? Yes, yes. I'm suffering for that every day. <laughs> Thank you. Ex extension of interim order. Yes, yes. Item 7. You're for the petition or? Yes, I know. I'm for the response. Your expression says you're for the response. My Lord, no, my Lord. My Lord, the thing is that, my Lord, this, this is not maintainable, my Lord. This writ petition? Yes, because there is a provision of appeal under section 50, hmm. uh, sub clause 2 of the said act. That is the Which Bengal, act? my Lord, uh, the act, uh, Bengal Public Demand Recovery Act, section. Yeah. Maintainability question was kept open on the last occasion. No, my lord, it was. Last occasion, we have not been served. At least uh, twice, my lord, we've served, my lord. Never appeared. My lord, never served. Appeared. Lord, we have counsel for the petitioner seeks an, an extension of the interim order granted earlier. First of Leonard counsel for the respondents opposes such prayer and contends that the writ petition is not maintainable in view of availability of an equally efficacious alternative remedy of appeal under the uh, governing provisions of law. Full sub next para, be that as it may, comma, the uh, interim, since an interim order has already been granted and due to paucity of time before the vacation, the matter cannot be heard out on merits, comma, the interim order granted earlier is extended till December 15, 2023 or until further order, whichever is earlier. The matter shall be listed immediately after the reopening of court, after the up oncoming puja vacation. Mm -hmm. First up, the question of maintainability is kept open Hello, as Mr. well Mr. for being decided at the time of final hearing. Hello, uh, may I file a short affidavit, my lord? Hello, affidavit's reactions are already... The time for filing affidavit in opposition is extended till you file it before vacation. Before till, vacation, my lord, Yes, it's before vacation. Till October 19, 2023. First up, reply, if any, shall be filed on the next returnable date. I'm grateful. Deeply obliged. Otherwise, eight. the timeline won't be maintained. No, no. I will file. Grateful. Item 8. Let's see. Matter. Same matter. Same order. <laughs> my Lord, but only one thing. Same order means everything same. Maintainability, opposition. Yes, yes, yes. But only one thing, my Lord. Either. So far, service, your Lord, kindly appreciate. My Lord, he has to serve the additional solicitor general. Otherwise, we are done. Inform the additional solicitor general. Right. Why? Uh, the take resort is... of these technicalities. We are over that. Lord, Technologically advancing and Understood. going where he has not been served. That person has not. You inform. My Lord, I will inform. I will inform. Let him be prepared in the matter. Let him do My the matter. We will dispose of the matter. Right. Yes. And uh, grounds for maintainability may be kept open. No, those are closed specifically. My
In the previous order, it's a copy paste of the previous order. I've kept that open. You were busy arguing something else. You missed that. Sorry. Yes. Item nine. Nine. Lord, uh, may it please your lordship, Mr. Yes, Lord, uh, your lordship, Mr. Lord, passed an interim order <clears throat> on six July that was extended, not on the other second side. August. Opposing vehemently, or you choose your adjective. Yeah. But I'll extend for a limited period. Vehemently, my kindly uh, records. They, they, they have not uh, filed their opposition despite two directions. Then, then so not. Lord, may I? May I? Below down. Uh, okay. May you what? Lord, uh, instead of limiting it, not kindly make it until further or let them file affidavit. Lord, I'm making that prayer, not only if my Lord, because two opportunities given to them to file affidavit. Yes, why didn't you file your opposition? What do you, I mean, in an authority the or? Steel authority, sale. Steel authority of India. What is sale doing? You are there, you are diligent enough, your client is not. 6 July 22nd. Yes, sir, why should it be till the disposal? Tell me. Because you have failed, failed your opportunities. Unless I take it up without affidavits. Yes, that's what I'm saying. If that even then I'm ready to argue because the no, it's on you. Has to territorial jurisdiction. It's on you. And that point has been kept open. No, no, points are always kept open. Territories. Yeah. I mean, they, they take that risk. Very well. Uh, the inter no, no, Mr. Chakravarty, I'll listen for you. Leonard, uh, the interim order granted earlier is extended till uh, December 31, 2023, or until further order, whichever is earlier. Full stop. The time for filing FAB in opposition is extended till November 17, 2023. First up, reply if any shall be filed by November 24, 2023. The matter shall be listed for hearing on November 28, 2023. Point of territorial jurisdiction is kept but open. That is kept open point. from the first order itself. No, no, the the order is, is. that has been kept open. That in the line at further, the terms of the grant of initial interim order remain uh, intact. Lord, I'm uh, the direction is peremptory Lord, for filing affidavit because two occasions. This day. will be overkill. <laughs> Next. 31st of December. Upgraded matter, Lord, item 10. Lord, instead of 31st of December, we'll be closing. Lord, uh, make it a first week of January at least, Lord, if you, after vacation. Uh, then I can make it 22nd of December. Sounds odd. No, that's no, why we no, made no, it. 22nd. Let it be 31st. <laughs> yes. That matter. Item number 10, item. Lord Shibam, for the uh, 17 and 18 years. Lord, I'm led by Mr. Chatterjee. Lord Shibam, you start, you start. Mrs. I Lord continue. Shibam, on the last occasion, Lord I'll, yes, I'll close arguments otherwise. My Lord, I'm appealing for response number 13 and 14. Till that Mr. Time, Chatterjee Mr. left midway. Mr. Chatterjee comes. I'm appealing for other response number 13, 14, Hindustan time. May I give a short reply? Because Very the well. learned people, the advocate. Very well. Do that. Do that. Let us not waste time. We'll, we'll do that. My Lord, they have shown some publications. Give me half a second. Or if you have a one, you have only been a chin. I have a stable quarter. I have to be called you to Tom Amara Jam Kuri. I'm a rather at Kuru. Item 10 is number. Item 10. Yes, Mr. Miller, we are appearing for the enforcement directorate. You know, the, it is my I render unqualified apology. The last two days when my lord was hearing the matter. No, it's all right. Yes. Now, my lord, we are yet. I'll, I'll hear Mr. Tibidi, then I'll hear you, then Mr. Chagat. My lord, that is where, where I'm cutting a sorry figure. If my lord can, because my lord, I need, in, because my lord, two more time. The various, no, so only allegation against you, well, you are disclosing. What is the other allegation? Lord, two allegations, my lord. Yes. One, what I could understand by the plain reading, because instructions are lacking, my lord. Yes. One is that we are leaking, my lord, which is a. Allegation which you are leaking information. My Lord. <laughs> yes. One. And secondly, my Lord, another aspect, my Lord, because is that that we have made certain press releases. Same. So, my Lord, no press release. That's a is format that, of. Uh, no, oh, Lord, yes. Press that's release open. is open, my Lord. Press release, I don't <laughs> find anything from the records that you have made any press, uh, press release or something. Lord, we have made one. We have made one. My Lord, I will not be by my Lord, Lord officer first, my Lord. So, my lord, we have we'll made justify one. that. We'll have my, my lord, but we have justified that, but that and my lord, as far as the other point is concerned, man, that we are leaking information or yes. it is not being concealed, my lord. It is oath versus oath, my lord. Where so is you say whether your officers are doing it or not? No, my lord. We, and if you law, it can go both ways. Even if your officers are leaking, I mean, I'll take that on record. Take your version on record, and I'll pass my order on that. I'll consider that. No, my lord. We. We are an ACE agency, my lord knows of the country. Not, no, under normal circumstances, they ought not to. But that is done, that has been held in so many judgments. My, my, my lord, in my respectful submission, my lord, yes. as far as this case is concerned, my lord, we vouch, my lord, 
and milord we never do such a thing milord and so you did not record record that you are not leaking surreptitiously none of your officers that's your stand at least but, but you are making press releases milord press release milord what i am humbly submitting milord because my lord we kindly understand i'll not put anything into your mouth you say whatever my it is. precarious condition is this milord because milord what has happened is the only matter. precarious condition is mr bhattachari is also there <laughs> union <laughs> big brother is watching union is a big brother you are the ed Melody It's a like central agency. Has, <laughs> nothing, helpful. nothing is meant. <laughs> he is, he has been, he is very helpful. Milad. Big brother is a language used by Orwell. That's right. Because Milad, yeah. as far as Milad, the other points are concerned, Milad, with regard to the maintainability and other, I am adopting the submission Definitely. made by my learned uh, counterpart, Milad. But as far as those two allegations are concerned, Milad, may Milad because. we need all these whatever i will submit before my, my lord needs a prior sanction from the authorities in what do you want tell me milord because two allegations have been made milord so with regard to both the allegations milord give me one breather milord i shall come back milord on monday milord with with written monday won't be possible mr tivedi i have to finish it before this side of the because they are pleading but urgency it, i'll at least have to tomorrow, consider milord. whether it's urgent at all or not can it be kept tomorrow milord in my respectful some tomorrow milord, for you milord. only i'll hear the others too yes milord Wait. others my lord yes milord and milord will uh, i know i am asking for too yes, much milord please. maybe milord after two milord then i will get a slightly more breather milord difficult mr tivedi i'll keep it the as it is just, just before the i'll origin. consider whenever the matter is taken up if you my, can't find time then you'll i i bow down i that will try today why not today मुझे <laughs> Yes, I'm great. My Lord, kindly. Mr. Chatterjee is there. Will you let him finish? One thing I forgot to add yesterday, my Lord. Mr. Lord, the provision of Roman Chapter Forty One, Lord, Mr. Age and Forty One I of the specific duty fact, my Lord, from the coming to play. In view of the fact, my Lord, that if I are were registered, there were my Lord exchange of letters, my Lord, by and between the particular media as was submitted by Mr. Ganguly. Section Forty One. रीजन Proformer respondent, who are you? I am Google India. Why I mention your lordship is because I am not the correct party. So that is why I said that it was mentioned yesterday. Yes, but I I I have bo- uh, brought few orders from the uh, Bombay High Court and Delhi High Court. No, no, let let me say charity complete. Let us proceed as it is. Yes. Yes. My lord, yesterday. Mr. Charity, be short. Yes. Not I your will... usual method. No, no, no. I will do. No, not no no dissing here. Only arguments in court. I. Told I made my points yesterday. Yes, what are the points? That yes, this, you did make your points. He said I told. Yeah. Okay. So this particular yeah. read application. You are seventeen, eighteen, right? Alambag and Chonmal. Right. These applications are not maintainable. Yes. Either in law or in facts, as well as on merits also. We can learn. Now, Lord Chief, here. the petitioner by filing this writ petition has actually sought for a gag order by which she wants the entire publication should be stopped in respect of the investigations of an ongoing investigation carried on by a central investigating agency now Several judgments have been placed before your lordship by my learned senior friend, Mr. Dotto, including lordship the judgment of the Honorable Bombay High Court and Division Bench of the Bombay High Court. Today we are going to look at particularly. Lordship, kindly see page number three hundred and thirty-one. Page number three hundred and thirty-one. Page number three hundred and thirty-one. 
or she has that judgment Mr. chatterjee just give me the paragraph yes, yes, yes. because it's not possible because other matters are there yes, yes, yes. paragraph 341 the paragraph 41 341 41, yes which has quoted what is the citation Shahara of the government india real estate give me the citation 2021 scc online bombay 56 right right yes para 341 341 yes lot ship 342 and particularly in 345 these are the principles where the court can pass a postponement order in terms of sahara india limited because that judgment has been placed before this court as a gateway to vouch this jurisdiction of this honorable court because otherwise everything which ever is claimed either the question of right to privacy or question of administration of justice whatever it is there are specific alternative forum where these questions can be raised at the appropriate time in a in an appropriate case this this case has not been made out Lots of, for my satisfaction, lots of only one or two lines, which is underlined in three forty one paragraph. After quoting the Shahara, there are underlined uh, underlined statements which says, "Given the postponement orders cartel the freedom of expression of third parties, such orders have to be passed only in cases in which there is real and substantial risk of prejudice." to fairness of the trial or the proper administration of justice so lordship there has to be a test of substantial risk real and substantial risk of prejudice or fairness of the trial i have gone through the repetitions averments no such case has been made out in my humble submission to invoke this jurisdiction under article 226 of the constitution of india it quotes justice quoted so is that the end of purpose of all laws is the fairness that case has not been made out in my humble submission thereafter lordship how this particular thing has to be done that was particularly in paragraph number 43 sub paragraph 43 of 341 in the underlying position in other words in relation to article 192 are the words of widest amplitude when the said words are read in relation to the contempt of court it follows the law of the contempt is treated reasonable restrictions and as so and so forth. now i am not reading this then lordship i place the judgment of kaushal kishore kaushal kishore no judgment copy it out mutter the kaushal kishore this is 2023 4 scc page 1 particularly as you can give me mm -hmm. five minutes I'll yes come to this question also this time the copy is here ho bhi kuch kal ke kal ke diye chho bag the car for Lordship has got a copy of Kaushal Kishor that was cited previously. That was earlier cited by Mr. Doctor. Yes, yes, I must yes, have. Lordship, kindly take that. Lordship, once. Good attorney, Mr. Parve. Very yes. I I'll take copies of judgment. Still, I cannot be seen. Up to up to this. So, so you are entitled to cite judgments after that. Mota to show what is it? Four past a mota is it? Which mota? Which one? 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 Which Through all these arguments of my the paragraph, tell your sentences. I'll I'll, yes, I'll make one by one sentences. Or chip. Yes, I think that will be easier for you. What should be the judgment? That is my problem. No, please don't. Don't repeat the judgments. Just yes, tell me. Yes. I can look it online. Also, look yes. it up. 
but you give me the par- your paragraphs and your uh, points why not par- page over. number 61 paragraph number the question number 1 was answered what is the paragraph number please mr chatterjee this is page number 61 of this judgment law shikali come to it it was a question framed notes of submissions by the amicus curiae the uh, question number 1 it was answered in paragraph 13.1 the right to free speech under article 191a is subject to clearly defined restrictions under article 192 not if the uh, ratio of this judgment is that nothing can be added to article 1912 that is restricted yesterday lordship was asking few questions that what is the interplay between article 19 and article 21 rather article 191a and article 21 if there is any conflict like situation arises between right to life and right to uh, freedom of speech and expression yes. and which will uh, which will so prevail over what? simple reason mr chatterjee dead person does not speak yes generally no, generally yes. they don't speak and this particular judgment uh, in uh, this matter, whenever two fundamental rights conflict the court will balance the two and the purpose of this postponement orders to create that balance that's why i have referred that bombay high court judgment division main judgment particularly paragraph 341 342 343 onwards right where lordship it was stated the purpose of this postponement order which is very limited because this order can be passed in a very rare case in an exceptional circumstances only in order to achieve the purpose of balancing between this now how this has been answered wherever two fundamental rights compete the court will balance the two to allow the meaningful exercise of both this conundrum is now new as the rights under article 21 and article 191a have been interpreted and balanced on numerous occasions take the instance of right to information act 2005 the act balances citizens right to know under article 191a with the right to fair investigation and right to privacy under article 21 and i find this is the appropriate counterplay which the court is required to answer in this particular case this careful balancing was explained by this court in thalepalam service corporation bank limited versus state of kerala this is 2013 16 scc 82 bhai judgment over kar do 2013 16 scc 82 the decision of the court this court in r rajagopal versus state of tamil nadu is another example of reading down the restrictions on the right to free speech under article 92 in this application to the public officials and public figures in larger public interest again in people's union of civil liberties versus union of india right to privacy of the spouse of the candidate contesting the election was declared as subordinate to citizens right to know under article 191 a in jamuna prasad mukherjee uh, makhiria versus lachiram a challenge to section 123 5 and 124 the representation of people said now i will only read out the next case ram jetmalani versus union of india and sarda uh, the sahara real estate india real estate corporation versus sebi was quoted thereafter and the purpose of this particular order uh, postponement order was again addressed Lordship 13.4 is another relevant portion which would be required. In that 13.4, there the minister, being the functionary of the state, represents the state. Apart from that, whether the violation of Article 21 by its own functionaries of the private person, it would be preposterous to suggest that while the state is under the obligation to restrict a private citizen from violating the fundamental rights of the citizens. It, its own minister can do so with impunity however the factum of violation would need to be established on these facts is given cases so lots of again it will depend on factor to factor facts of particular case that probably they have failed to demonstrate such an exceptional case here now then 14.21 and 14.17 now i i am quite surprised that why despite of referring all these judgments on privacy govin rajagopal everything why puttu swami was not pre- yeah, pre- i was, pre- I was pre- thinking so so i got puttu swami something hidden there puttu swami also again the balance 
put it somewhere probably because it is too large probably too large the cost of photocopy would override the interest no, of that's why lot of the i found that scc has published one separate book so i'll look it up, look it up online so lot of i don't, don't give a copy please paragraph 14.17 you are referring to your of i am referring to this judgment social, is social issue because social now this is considered everything 14.17 as held by this court in case put to swami the court will strike the balance wherever a conflict between two sets of fundamental rights is projected strictly speaking what is actually conceived by some of the noted in several decisions including case put to swami is not the conflict of rights in abstractum in a doctrinal level but the conflict in notion invocations and practice of rights again the application now i ask a question to myself i have gone through the entire petition i did not find any particular case has been made out any specific case has been referred here these are the collections of the statements from various medias there has been demonstrated that this may cause now lot of they again the test of real real test of prejudice has to be propounded has to be examined now kindly come to 14.18 of this and 14.21 is also very important for from the kaushal kishore while it is not possible to impose additional restrictions on the freedom of speech it is certainly desirable to have a code of conduct of public functionaries as followed by the other jurisdictions the court may keep in mind the fact of the against ara real estate corporation cautioned against framing guidelines across the board to restrict the freedom of press now again lot of i say that it was running in all of our mind last day what can what is the scope of this court to interfere whether court can come up with a guidelines even there is a uh, at least reflection of that and uh, yesterday i think my learned senior another learned senior mr bhattacharji has uh, referred to the uh, justice nagaratna's view and justice nagaratna was of the view that it should be placed before the parliament for the appropriate uh, body to come out otherwise with. it will become the press council of high court yes that is something which is important now apart from that yesterday lotchi bhai was referring to this this judgment lotchi will give uh, many leads to this matter lotchi i don't want to uh, again repeat because but your client is hounding the lady mr what uh, mr chatterj you it appears from the annex here i mean i'm only on the annex i cannot go beyond that I, why should i possibly not lotchi the your, your client is hounding the lady no, no. the others are probably not to such an extent no uh, the question is i said but uh, you, you yeah. have a mission of you may have a mission that's also legitimate and you can do that also but this is bordering on i mean uh, again that whether that you are you are perverting the investigation everything no, which is happening and in such a light you are putting no, it no lot you kindly i don't want to read out because it's a case of evidence again the examination cross examination no need not read out everything. for that for this uh, 226 court possibly they uh, yesterday lot you was asking that why gandhi and yes, i was gandhi? reading because mr dotto was mr gandhi has been overused don't you think so by everybody under the sun uh lotchi i rather his enemies by his friends by his followers uh, what i say alone that let let him be used for uh, also for right a particular borderline of no a, you are using him for privacy or or information which side of the both rather both because the balance again my gandhi means means balance to a certain extent because it's not in what do you person mean? what do you exactly mean mr chatterjee gandhi means balance balance means lordship to extreme should be balanced very to extreme at least for some times hmm. at exactly at least yes. for 77 80 years without that in 2019 20 hmm. the uh, mr gandhi had faced uh, one particular litigation and the bombay high court had an occasion to pass an order regarding the press restrictions and all yes to how far this restriction can be yes this is very interesting yes this is uh, 1920 scc online bombay 28 ai 1920 bombay 175 now hmm. paragraph 14 in our rex versus park hmm. justice wills in delivering the judgment of the court the other members of which were the lord albert stone and chancellor said in page 4367 as follows that is the reason why the publications of articles you are reading which paragraph 14 15 15, 15. uh said uh, 
the reason why the publication of the articles like those with which we have to deal is treated as the contempt of court is because their tendency and sometimes their object to deprive the court of the power of doing what which is the end of which it exists, namely the administrative justice, duly, impartially, and with the reference of solely to the facts judicially brought before it. Their tendency is to reduce the court, which has to try the case to importance so far as the effectful elimination of the prejudice and pre-opposition of the concern. It is difficult to conceive to ap after description of such conduct than is conveyed by the expression contempt of court. Again, Lord Shiva, I will be coming to paragraph 37, the last paragraph. The contempt of court is more serious nature was, in my opinion, committed in commenting in the particular manner of that letter. It amounted clearly to scandalizing Mr. Kennedy, District Judge, such and such. The judge who notices the misconduct of the pleader should charge the pleader therewith and after such preliminary inquiry as he may think fit to make should write to the register requesting him to lay the charge before the Honorable Chief Justice and Judges, if necessarily, will call the pleader for any further explanation. 39. The contempt of court of an even more serious nature was, in my opinion, further committed in that comments tended to interfere. So now the question is, again, this contempt of court is a uh, clearly falls within 192 uh, of the Constitution of India. It's an exhaustive test, Lordship. It cannot be extended. Nothing can be incorporated in that. Now, Lordship, the last thing which I would like to submit, Lordship, I have referred to all the judgment. I'm not repeating, not going to particularly uh, Ram Jetmalani and others. I have to be eaten off. Yes. Now one. You need to alert the court. Number seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. Folder, put a file. Ready, put a file. No. No. Seventeen, eighteen. Response number. I can't put a file already. Take do. Who is there? Take. The porridge joint. Jokhon, put a tarak. Take. Put a file. No. Uh, I will be lordship now. Referring to two or three things from the petitions, and I will be closing it. Yes. Now, Lordship, kindly come to their petition in paragraph number 12. The last, the new, how they have come before this court, how they are thinking that this is a case of media trial and whatsoever. Because, one hand, they're saying private. <coughs> <coughs> Privacy has been infringed. <laughs> On the other hand, they are saying the administration of justice will be. But what is media trial? The paragraph 12, the news broadcasting agencies India performs media channel individuals added such and such, the which are directly, indirectly aimed at petitioner and her husband. Whether she can espouse the cause for her husband. That is one. Yes. These stories, articles, news reports are based on unverified and baseless rumors. Therefore, Lordship, this is a case of maybe fake news, misinformation, disinformation. Even if it's on conjecture, it well, may not be fake news, conjecture, well, but can you put it as news for the consumption of the public? Yes. Then, Lordship, another question we are entering. That, is, that is what they are asking. Again, your Lordship said the High Court of uh, the Press Council of High court. Yes, but sometimes we have to do that because the press council does not function. Now, that exists. We are that, for that. We are the residuary. Yes. Literally, now, the residuary jurisdiction of the society. The, the press council may be directed for this because it's the duty of the press council. Mm. But this is in the amongst the in the ocean of the information today. We are living in this era, which have no relation with the reality. Such reporting indisputable tends to induce the public at large to form the adverse opinion in connection with ongoing investigations. What is her fear? This fear that is going to impact on the trial, the end of justice. She is rather frightened of the fact it will create the adverse opinion in the mind of the people. Hmm. Definitely. That is but one of the fears. That is one of the mind of the people. 
Now, Lord Chief, kindly come to this. Well, admittedly, neither has the investigating agency named in the petition and her husband accused by way of filing the charge sheet. So this is, where is this assumption? How can this petition be filed before this court? I don't get you. Kindly come to this. When I've read it. I mean, what is your point? No, there is no case. He said that admittedly, this is not a accused person. Hmm? She is admittedly not an accused person. She writes it here. Yes, she is. So, in the basis of this, how can she mm -hmm. make out a case of the anticipation from the investigating agency or any of these things? What are the basis? Period. So, in my humble opinion, Lordship, this so is... So, if she is not an accused, she cannot have any apprehension regarding the investigation Wait. or the trial. Well, how can it be maintained? Now, Lordship, one judgment, although I do not have the Westlaw copy, but this is the Shepard versus Maxwell. 384, United States, 333. Now, here, Lordship, the but question... Have you got a copy of that? I got a copy, Lordship, but I don't have the... Uh, this is a copy collected from the uh, court online. But the, I, Can you give me a photocopy later on? I, I can. Read out? Some portions are important, Lord Shepard. Shepard versus? Uh, Shepard versus Maxwell. Right. Now, here, the massive privacy prejudicial publicity attending petitioner's prosecution prevented him from receiving the prayer trial consistent to the due process of clause of 14th Amendment. Now, though freedom of discussion should be given to widest range compatible, with the fair and orderly administration of justice is must not be allowed to divert the trial from the purpose of adjudicating controversies according to the legal procedures based on evidence received only in the open court. Identifiable prejudice to the accused need not be shown if such and such and even more so in the case totality of the circumstances raises the probability of the prejudice. So either it has to be identified this prejudice or in a totality, it has to be shown. But that has not been demonstrated in this particular case as I adopt my submission of Mr. Vattacharji on this regard that it has to be based on a case to case. Lordship, then, Lordship, kindly, uh, another portion I will be saying. In your copy, please mark the portions and hand over a copy to your yes. friend for the petitioner also. Yes, because yes, these I, are not I, readily I, available. I, I will give it. Do it at the top right, race for numbers 817 and 18, so that it goes into the right I'll folder. I'll make a button. Right. Now, so now in, in the view of these submissions, Rashiv, I say that this is not a fit case where the court can exercise that slightest jurisdiction which the High Court is having in uh, while they have to be on a very high ground. Or something. That is not it satisfied. has to be a specific case. It has to be a case where the prejudice has to be properly uh, expressed. It's a case where the balance is required. But till now, Lordship, that case has not been made out. Moreover, Lordship, I said yesterday that both the petitioners in 17 and 18, both of them, are facing several trials by virtue of either by the police or by the followers of Only one petition. One petitioner. Uh, Shafiqul Islam and uh, Shonma Banerjee, 17 and 18. They are not the petitioners. The respondents, actually. Yes. So, in... You are facing... Yes, you said that. Yes, it. Yes, it so, now, either by at the instance of the government, police, or at the instance of their followers. Now, again, this you is... You mean to say right to backlash is a, is a part of right to life? Right, to, uh, backlashing is not the part of life I don't want to mean. But uh, what I want to say that I have... Why are you saying so many trials going on against that? Nah, because State this is be, the... Maybe against you very well. But that does not entitle you to do something which you are not entitled to in law. I have not done anything which I am not entitled but to. How is that a defense? I am not giving any defense. defense. Right to retribution or right to backlash no, no, no. is a right I to, have a right to right criticize. Right. I have a right to... That is independent of your... Independent. against you. Yes. That is independent of that. So, Lord definitely, Shib, you have a right to criticize. Definitely, that I have a democracy. right to criticize, and I have a right to represent the facts in my own manner, 
by after decoding the facts. That's the thing. And lots of any attempt will amount to cutting my right under Article 19.1a, which cannot be done right. under any circumstances beyond the scope of Article 19.2. Thank you. This is my humble submission. I'll be waiting. And Lordship, I'll be placing that if this there was no urgency pleaded. Hmm. Before the vacation, this petition has been moved. And Lordship, at the uh, cost of many other, uh, at the right. cost of the precious time of this honorable court, if you will, I, I, I'll be seeking for exemplary post cost to be imposed upon the petitioners. On all, whoever is taking time. Petitioners and. Uh, I'll be waiting for Shepherd. Shepherd, yes. I will Next month, next uh, next uh, respondent. Yes, no. Yes, Google India. What do you have to say? Lordship, if you kindly go through the. You are a search engine. Uh, uh, so you are not, neutral. You are supposed to be. Lordship, Google India is not the search engine. If you kindly go. Oh, I'm through, sorry, Google India is not. Uh, Lordship, if you if you kindly go through the cost title, it says YouTube through yes through Google, peculiarly through Google India. right. Now what happens is Google LLC, which is in USA, is the mother. Uh, concern. Right. Under that, Google India is a subsidiary which watch what I have understood, it only take caters about the ad. That is just one of 21. 21. Yes. Please continue. And YouTube is a service which is provided by Google LLC, which is in US. Now this point was So both are under Google LLP. Google LLC, which is in USA. So this point was raised. So YouTube and Google India both are under uh, Google LLC. Google LLC, your option. So so YouTube cannot, uh, Google India cannot be served through YouTube no, because they are on similar footing under the. Yes, your lordship. Period. Now what happens is. But then you don't have Article 19. <laughs> your lordship. I uh, want to say we, uh, lordship, Google LLC and all. Lordship, I have few orders which are of the preliminary stage because these orders were passed at the preliminary stage only because as because Google India is not the necessary party in the final order. These are not reported. In other matters, these were passed. What was done here in these orders? Lordship kindly comes to the first page. Just read out one paragraph and nothing else. Very well. Please. The, chip. the present applicant, respondent number three, with Google India Private Limited, maintains a principal to principal relationship with Google LLC, respondent number four, and does not in any manner act as an agent of Google LLC, respondent number four, hmm. nor can it be responsible for YouTube platform. A bare reading of the latest terms of service of YouTube as applicable evidences that services of YouTube are provided by Google LLC respondent number four and not by the applicant respondent number three. It is submitted that the applicant and, and it goes on. The order what says is that Google India has to be substituted and Google LLC has to be made a part in a further order. The addresses of Google India and Google LLC has all been provided. Mm. So if that judgment, uh, that order is also considered, then all the addresses will also be found. Your Give copies to the petitioner at yes, least. This one. This has all the... Yes. This has your lordship. And uh, at the very second page, third page, the addresses of YouTube and uh, Google right. LLC are mentioned. Right. Okay. And why I say this, Your Lordship, because uh, because the uh, reliefs that have been sought against uh, respondent number two, 21 cannot be complied by us. It is not possible because the URLs are to be provided so that if at all any order is there, we have to go by the URL and those are either to be put down or to be striked off something of that sort has to be done. But you have a policy for that also. Independently, that, you have a policy for that. That Google LLC has. Even then? Google India does not have the authority to do anything. Ah, good. Good. Thank you. Right. 13, 14. 13 and 14. Hindustan Times. 14 is the editor-in-chief of Hindustan Times and 13 is the... 21 is away. At 17, 18, it's going to be 8. 13, 14. What has been placed for publication is appearing in page number 88 of the read petition. What has been published? Okay. 
Yes. But the heading is when so what could be 900 crore from coal couch marketing alleges UGP releases proof. The audio clip which my learned friend has was talking about, my lord. How we have got that, my lord. We have got it from a press conference. That is. But in the audio clip, you are saying yourself the veracity of which was not independently verified. Cannot, How can you publish it then? We cannot, my lord. Because can it be a basis of your news item? In a press conference, if my lord kindly kindly reads the quotation. Yes. Bharatiya Janata Party leaders Subendra Udhikari who contested against Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee in Smethnipur district Nandikram sit on uh, April 1 released an audio when the audio is uh, covered by yeah, yes, yes. yes. Press conference on Sunday and claimed that uh, Banerjee, the Chief Minister nephew and TMCU team president received 900 crores from Somalia. This we have got from the audio clip which has been released in a press conference by opposition party leader. Our and you have stated that in your headline also. Yes, I have stated that it has that. been released by them. Released by them, and if my lord kindly comes to page number 90. Hmm. Yes. Mr. Swanto, uh, head of the BJP National Information Technology Cell, who have also present at the press conference, alleged that the rackets were involved in human trafficking as well. In the audio clip, the veracity of which was again we have said, not independently verified by Hindustan Times. One man could be heard telling the other man uh, that money from the coal scam went to Abhishek Banerjee. So, my lord, whatever we have got from the press conference, my lord, which the opposite party, my lord, has published, my lord, then that, that as the news, as a media house, my lord, we have published, my lord. My lord, at all there cannot can they are seeking. But whatever and wh whatever you get, I mean, uh, you also have a responsibility before publishing if it's not verified. You can say that these people are claiming these things, yes, but is. how can you refer to the contents of the audio clip? We have said, we have said all along. It has you say whatever they have say they have said. These people, whoever they are, suppose I go there and say something. I feel that is true. I say that. You can report that yes, this person has said this. If that person is important, must be important because this is the this is one of the political major political parties of India. That person says it. You definitely can report that he is saying so. But you refer to the contents of an audio clip which is unverified, why? Yes, we have said that we, have, we cannot verify it, my lord. We are not but you are, have you referred to the contents of that audio clip? I have referred whatever, in respect of the audio clip, the person who whomsoever has released it, he has said. So his statement has been stated. His statement has been But you have not said anything about the contents of the audio clip independently. No, my lord. That Get is it. my submission. Get your point. Very. Yes. And you add up all the other yes. things. Yes. Anybody else left? No. Yes, Mr. Trivedi, you are only left. Because I'll just stick my argument to those two points. Are the other things, I'm, I'm One of the points you can argue right now. Take instruction, Mr. Trivedi, very well. I'll put it. Old allegations have been made against the agency, which is uncalled for. No, you have been quoted by various, uh, uh, many of the media excerpts that, so that it has been known from you. Then you should have taken action against them also. Investigation is going on against whoever. My respectful submission, you know, that's what I want written instruction one. And secondly, what I can submit you know, hmm. is that whoever, you know, we are an investigating agency. You know. Right. Our prime work and duty is to investigate. Absolutely. And you know, there are mushrooming channels. It is impossible for any person under the sun to go on scanning on the social media as to who says about whom. Right. And my lord, what was being submitted by my lord counterpart about the specifically back my lord, that is that particular point that hmm. continuous visual, how can the, the yes, 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 yes. That was one of my questions yesterday, also that whether we can implement it. That Mr. Dotto has addressed. Yes. YouTuber, everybody has become a journalist, self-proclaimed. Yes. So under those circumstances, my lord, True. asking the ED to leave all these. Uh, investigation that will be the next investigation which will be interesting. what I understand Very right. I get you so uh, Mr. Dotto Mr. Trivedi is saying that he wants to have written instruction he will argue for 5-10 minutes tomorrow only for that we will be postponing this you can address the other the other answers I mean you can okay. give your reply yes okay well, one, one, come yeah, one composite tomorrow I don't think I will take better, better. No, no difficult uh, 30 minutes okay. and I will try to Millard, restrict myself uh, below that. Uh, Heard Learned Council for uh, further hearing and conclusion of arguments. Uh, let the matter be listed tomorrow fairly at the top of the list. In that it uh, to, uh, 
স্টেপল করে দিও আই এম গ্রেটফুল থ্যাংক ইউ ইয়েস অনলাইন আচ্ছা <laughs> ফ্রমুবে some it has some ramifications i was being criticized severely by the public because i why i was taking saying my lord so many times the guy with my leaders leave, leave me lord may i make one comment in this matter in this matter yes lord. now all this has started i went to meghalaya to do a matter shillong high court once i have gone in the last few years some friend of mine showed it to my son my son was overjoyed because i was getting a scolding all the time <laughs> yes and he was so happy and i have seen what happens to you in my son stick is that uh, i have opened a youtube channel he was very caught up with that why have you opened a youtube channel he is in channel. class 6 so, so he opened a channel I mean. yes but he's very embarrassed he also has a channel but there are less likes or, or like less following or something like he said something like i don't follow it actually i mean they deliberately no in the forest streaming from our high court is concerned on youtube the comment sections are disabled but Achha. what is happening is various media to take in some way in portions of it and they are after you cannot avert that no, this, 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 this so they, while deciding this matter will also have to keep that in mind can lead to one tomorrow someone I'm back. from some neighboring country pakistan bangladesh because this is thailand some neighboring country can come up and file a writ petition relating to my id ta lekho chandrawan ashraf party the paper has said this this has said that they may thinking, even mean, now they may so but the most difficult part is mr bhattaj something something else because everything is not an order of court whatever is being discussed it is being live streamed there should be some restriction on that mm-hmm. because everything is not a solemn order of the court or something like that i mean many things are said in court opinions cross opinions those are there but those are not final those are only discussions those cannot be i mean reported those are being regularly reported and projected that that is the final observation of the court court is prejudice or court may be prejudiced inside but that should not there should be something i mean I this is not done i remember our press should be more more uh, responsible but actually mr kopinath mukherjee in a case court the honorable justice joined the petition so the other side had argued that newspaper came up with this case with, with this reporting in so far as this particular case is concerned mr mukherjee said to the honorable justice bishwas as his lordship then was that my lord is a judge my lord is not supposed to travel beyond the four corners of the file which is before your lordship true so whatever extraneous is there yes yes absolutely that should not be ideally true. that is a bhattacharya uh, but when the media gets so powerful that it affects your daily lives So even if you don't follow the media then there are other means by which you can I personally do not read news papers i do not watch no? news but my friends keep on sending me thing if it is against so uh, rosu one thing that uh, lord shiv is uh, when lord shiv is referring to the term media electronic media ele- and print media, yeah, but no social media's impact that yes. is enormous lord shiv that has to be because that has changed everything so strategy i mean i have by uh, personally speaking i am a very uh, ardent worshipper of uh, personal liberty i mean i'm being I, very candid but that that when i sit here yes i have to follow the law i will follow the law and definitely i'm bound by the constitution otherwise i mean therefore but certain cases that is being abused that, that liberties are also being abused we have to be careful on that also so we have to counter our reverse bias also 
But uh, we are trained for that. that. 19, we are paid for that. In fact, nineteen two. So we have to be careful. That's our job. We have to do that. So whatever the media says, I mean, well, not everybody is exercising right. Nobody is wanting to fulfill their duty. Responsible. That is true. the biggest true. problem which true, we have. True, true, that true, is true. what I said. Hundred percent true. And well, whatever I am arguing before my lord, that is being shown by the media. The judgment is not being shown. So that has larger ramification. That is why I am hearing this matter for so long, Mr. Trivedi. I am being very candid. Otherwise, yes, Mr. Dotto also knows this is a very, very limited. There is very limited scope of interference in this. But the way it's happening, Mr. Trivedi, we have to be careful on that also. How far we can go? That's a different question. That is being argued in this matter. Very. Well, we will come back. Thank you. 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 Item 11. 11. My Lord, I am for the petition, my Lord. Is the matter, please? What about service? Sir, I serve, but service, uh, affidavit of service has not been made. Come back tomorrow with affidavit of service. Next matter, not to do only. Twelve. I pay for the petition, huh? Yes, sir. <clears throat> but this relates to Miller the uh, shop room. So that's what the other side has been served and all. Yes, I think when in the last location they had entered appearance also. Yes, yes, yes. Please continue. Yes. But this pertains to me, Lord, a shop hmm. in a commercial building. Now, my Lord, under the Shop and Establishment Act, as your Lordship knows, my Lord, there are mandatory holidays or shop closure uh, period. Once a week, probably. Once a week, it's also uh, converted into hours as well. Ah, right. There are also provisions for exemption. For example, your Lordship will find pantaloons, they remain open uh, yes. 365 days. Yes. Now, these are Miller, the exempted establishments who can carry on their business uh, around the year. Our client, that is the petition over here, has also Miller, obtained exemption for this purpose. The problem is, Miller, the, the building is a commercial building. Mm. Miller, uh, it has its own association. Now, Miller, so long, Miller, we had to pay a sum of rupees 5,000 for keeping the shop open, Millard, on Sundays. Now, Millard, something has happened, Millard. Though, Millard, I don't, I, my client shouldn't have succumbed to that uh, 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 pressure or, Millard, that imposition. Be that as it may, Millard. Now, Millard, the association, Millard, is not allowing us to open it on Sundays, citing grounds of security concerns. Now, this is, Millard, the subject matter of the red petition. They, Millard, may I first, Millard, uh, to address your Lordship Millard on the uh, my right to keep it open throughout the uh, year. Millard, we have filed a supplementary affidavit on the last occasion. Kindly have a look to that. Yes. Thank you. Please take me on the last page, that is page 8. Yes. So this was on 30th of October 2018, Millard. It says, whereas it is under active consideration of the government to allow shops and establishments uh, situated within the state of West Bengal to remain open for all seven days a week in public interest without affecting the rights and interests of the workers. Then Millard, certain clauses are uh, set, up, set out. And Millard, below that, after paragraph six, hmm. the governor is further pleased to order that while the said exemption is general in nature, Every individual employer intending to avail of this exemption will have to apply to the government seeking permission for grant of such exemption along with details of documents like up-to-date registration, etc. etc. Mm. Now, Millard, we had applied under that, Millard, the application your Lordship would find Millard, at the uh, page uh, 4 of my uh, supplementary affidavit and Millard, the grant is at page 7. Right. Yes. So, I am entitled to that, uh, to keep it open. Now, this, this, uh, what is preventing me 
is without the association. So, Mr. I need to address your logic on two things. First, Mr. Whether I can maintain this repetition against this association. I think that only. <laughs> and number two is, Mr. In case of infraction of right to business, Mr. What is the obligation of the state? All right. Have you written a complaint to the state or something like that? Yes, yes. That's there. Those are there. Yes, sir. Mr. Doctor, did you mean ten words?
But uh, yes. before Mr. Dotto starts, he has started. I, he has started. He has started. We are midway. Oh. But uh, could then if I could just take his leave and indicate one thing. Yes. So, look, there was an order of 18th May 2023, where the interim order was after a threadbare hearing was refused. We were given a scope to file our affidavit in opposition. We are out of time, hopelessly. With the date was by which I had to file it was 4th, uh, 9th of June. Mm -hmm. I'll be able to file it tomorrow. It's ready. I would have prepared it two weeks back, but the person concerned, the association secretary, I'm told, is down with dengue. I'll be able to do it tomorrow. They're basically coming up for final hearing. There is no scope for an interim order. There is no separate application. I file a supplementary affidavit as being filed with a date which does not get reflected in the first order. It has never been served upon us. Sir. I don't know how the matter appeared. We were not mentally affidavit is not filed today. It was there. Uh, yes, sir. But it being served there. with us today. No, no, yeah. I don't today. think so. No, but no, the no. order also your lordship will find is already on record. It was marked by the previous judge. You don't have it. No. We, we did not have it. Anyways, then, then it must be my mistake because we did yes. not have it. Hmm. I don't find any reflection in the order also. Hmm. But this is coming up for final hearing now. My affidavits are out of time. And and Milad, I also don't know how the matter appeared because we were not put on notice for mentioning. Lots of technical points. No, no, it was I, mentioned, Milad, um, WhatsApp message was sent to uh, the advocate on record yesterday evening. At, at 9 p.m. after mentioning, Milad, Mr. Dotto is there, I don't want to take these ridiculous points against him. My only thing is we've been given the detailed order refusing interim prayer. There is no prayer for Milad, interim my urgency, is, Milad, my urgency is, Milad, I'm losing every Sunday, number one. And number two, Milad, with the pujas round the corner, Milad, this is the time to Milad, make business. Because this is Milad, a, a, a shop which sells Milad, a silver. Uh, the petition uh, was filed products. in December 22, moved on 18th of May 2023. But I'm on a pure Milad, question of law, Milad. But I'll have to file an affidavit but because the, the question of law is. The difficulties at this stage, I mean, uh, we, have, we have passed the stage of motion. Yes. So already interim order has not been granted and affidavits have been directed. Yes. So tomorrow I'll file some days. I mean, interim order was not given to you. You have yes. waited for so long. Yes. The, 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 they have also not filed their affidavit, Milad. Right. If, if it is, uh, if, if I am to wait for one or two days, Milad, uh, there is no difficulty. But Milad, uh, let it not be posted after the vacation. Huh? Because, uh, because, because uh, if they file, uh, you can hand over, if you file your affidavit tomorrow, then you'll have to hand over a copy I am today. told the uh, so secretary is ready. He's better. He's going to, we'll affirm it today by three o'clock. I'll give Mr. Dato a copy ready. tomorrow. How soon can you file a reply? Then I'll take it up on Monday. No problem. Wait. The only thing is, instead of Monday, could it be Tuesday, Tuesday. for my personal? Well, then, <laughs> sorry. We'll come back on Tuesday, Mr. Well, then, instead of Tuesday, Tuesday is fine, Tuesday, What is Tuesday? Tuesday, Tuesday. Because he's saying you have. No, no, no. Monday, I have, I have a Rajarat oh, commercial. Whatever bench. you have. I, Tuesday, I'll be here. Tuesday, that's there a Monday. Are, on the prayer of the <laughs> council for the respondents, the time for filing affidavit in opposition is extended till tomorrow. First up, reply finish shall be filed by October 17, 2023, when the matter shall be placed under the same heading, fairly at the top of the list. Yeah. Great. I'm grateful. Man. Next. Lord, one, more, one more thing. Lord, acme, acme, acme. Yes. One more thing. Lord, yes. uh, I'm being instructed to indicate this. Lord, this is a police inaction matter. Lord, it's probably... No, no, no. I'm told no, it was initially released. It was initially moved before the police yeah. inaction, uh, the other bench, the other disciplinary bench. It was released by... Uh, Justice Mantra. Justice yeah, released by Justice Mantha, it is not a police action. First case is concerned, they lost their complaint. No, I don't think this has been specially assigned to a bench. No, no. no it will probably be before quote number 14. No, no, no. No, no, no. Satisfy me on that also. No, I don't need to satisfy you. <laughs> I will argue. You satisfy me, I'll be the happiest. I must, say, I must ask you. I'll be the happiest because I can take up other matters. I have indicated it. I'll argue the matter on Tuesday. I'm grateful. Great. 13? Yes. But I yes, Mr. Banerjee, what is it? But service. Post, post, post mentioning service is yet to be completed because it has been sent through post, yet to be delivered. So, may I come back next week, any date? What is the urgency in the matter? So the urgency is the petitioner is a flat affected victim. Funds were yes. disbursed by. Come back. When, when do you want to come? Any date next week because it will be. Give me a date. I'll put Tuesday. it on that date. Tuesday. 17th? 
on the prayer of learned counsel for the petitioner comma to await completion of service comma let the matter stand adjourned till october 17 2023 when it will be listed under the same heading great Fourteen. Right. Yes. Lastly, item fourteen, Mr. Shukumar Bhattacharya appearing for the Union of India. His legs on some other court. Like, yeah. Ample instruction, Mr. Bhattacharya. If you please use the microphone, ma'am. Kindly take this matter on seventeenth October. Mr. Manna, what is the urgency in the matter? Freedom fighter. Right. It, it will up to my lord. Then I'll take it up. No, no, I, I can't approve. Yeah. No, so not that. I'll take it up after the vacation then. It's a freedom fighter matter or something else. Right. Freedom. My land, it depends. Is it a freedom fighter matter? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Freedom fighters matter. He will request some hearing. Let Let us come back after. Sir, sir, it is needed. Mr. Can I file the DDB in opposition? Reply. And have you filed? If they have not filed their opposition, why can you? No, they have. No, they have supplied us. No. They have not, supplied us, Miller. Not filed in court, Mr. Manna. Lawsuit no. without serving any notice is actually is run under monthly list. On the prayer of learned counsel for the respondents, the time for filing affidavit in opposition is extended till October seventeen, twenty twenty-three. Full sub reply, if any, shall be filed on the next returnable date. Full sub. The matter shall be listed under the same heading on November sixteen, twenty twenty-three. Immediately after the opening, it will retain the same heading. Upgraded. Fifteen. Yes. I'm for the petition. Yes. Affidavit, sir. Miller complete. I'm filing my affidavit in reply. All served. All served. Doctor Shari, you're for the uh, CSC, right? Ma, may I file sir, my affidavit in reply? Sir. Opposition. Ma, I'm filing. You to agi file kore dilam. Ma, to show opportunities ma dilam. Yes. The grievance of the writ petitioner is that. What is the urgency, Mr. Bhattacharya? Why? Yeah. No urgency. I'll take it out after this. Other side is also not there. Private respondent. The private respondent will not be affected. The person who will. Be so what is the grievance? Let, let, since but, it's uh, before me, let me hear. Yeah. But even we are not affected. Actually, private respondent is affected because he is seeking for the disconnection of that meter. Not the private respondents. That you are seeking disconnection of some meter. Electricity. No electricity. urgency. There is no urgency in the matter. Fusab, My affidavit in opposition. Accordingly, the matter is adjourned till after the vacation. Full stop. The affidavits in opposition and reply filed today be kept on note. After come after that. Well, other urgent matters are yes, waiting. Yes, so. Great. Sixteen. Yes. Sir, I appear for the petitioner. Yes. We are moving upon notice. The challenge in this writ petition, my lord, is an award, a statutory award. So all have been served properly. They have been served, but I do not find anybody appearing. Uh, if there is urgency, I'll take up them. The, the only urgency, I tell your lordship. Yes. We are challenging an award, which is a statutory award. Yes. The statutory award, my lord, was passed under the MSME Act. Hmm. Two dates were fixed for the arbitration hmm. after a conciliation and mediation process. I did not appear on the last day. On the first day, I appeared. Before that, I sent them a notice saying that I am in I am inconvenienced. Kindly, I want to file a statement of claim and other defense. documents, statement of defense and other documents. Mm -hmm. Ignoring that, the matter was taken up that day without any peremptory notice having been served on me. Mm -hmm. And my lord, the award has been passed. But uh, uh, 96 Act applies after the after it reaches lord, the art. I am, 34 I am, I am fortified with judgments which say yes. that my lord, if a statutory award is passed in violation of natural justice, it is not an award at all. Extreme and case, you will have to have, uh, I, set it on a very high footing. Um, no, it's not a very high footing. There are many 30, judgments on that. Thirty foot is it. very, very. But I, I tell your lordship, hmm. the difficulty is I have not preferred an appeal under nineteen where seventy-five percent has been put in. I'm challenging the award. Yes, which I feel, in my humble submission, I shall at least try to convince your lordship. The urgency is they have put the award into execution <laughs> on a previous day, my lord. They, we had said that this application is pending. It was adjourned. Hmm. The execution application is scheduled to be heard, my lord, in Guwahati on the 14th of November. We are opening on the 16th. If they assure your lordship that they will not object, no, but just also I cannot entertain the petition. You have to satisfy me on that. Yes, count. on the maintainability. On the aspect. maintainability first. Very. Or it's the MSME Act, though. Well, just briefly, MSME. in one minute, my lord, the yes. facts. Absolutely. Well, I had got a contract, my lord, for doing some construction work, my lord, in Assam and go and Nagaland. 
Respondent number three, my Lord, agreed to supply the raw materials. I took the raw materials from him. Can you he please raised... take the microphone a bit closer to me? Sir? I'm sorry. My Lord, he supplied goods worth 2 crores 55 lakhs an odd. Hmm. It is an admitted fact that I have paid 2 crores of rupees. 55 lakhs were left to be paid. There were two reasons why I did not pay that amount. Number one, E1 forms, which is the sales tax department insists on, were not given to me. And secondly, my Lord, I said that some of the goods were of inferior quality. 55 lakhs an odd were due. My Lord, this sort of exchange went on, pay, don't pay, give me the form. You are not giving me the form. My Lord, the respondent number three referred it to mediation, my Lord, under the MSME Act. Conciliation. Conciliation. Sometime in August 28, 2019. Right. My Lord, there also, my Lord, some progress was made. Two sittings, Two sittings were heard. <laughs> Thinking, my Lord, that things would be resolved. I paid another 20 lakhs. So as of today, only 30 lakhs are due and paid. Yes. At that stage, when, my Lord, it was found that the conciliation or mediation was not working, my Lord, they invoked Section 18 and sent it to the arbitrator. Right. Before the arbitrator, my Lord, once again, the same problems arose. I'm ready to pay, provided you pay me, you supply me the E1 forms and you go into the dispute of the uh, quality of the goods. Two dates were fixed for the arbitration, 5th of August 2021 and 17th of February 2022. I addressed and I, uh, I was present and participated on the 5th of August 2021. On the 17th of February 2022, I was not present, but I sent the arbitrator concern an email saying I shall be out of town one day before. Kindly adjourn the matter on that day and allow give me, me a, and allow me to file a statement of defense. and rely on whatever. Now, your Lordship knows in all arbitration proceedings, the service of a peremptory notice is very important. If the arbitrator is going to proceed ex parte, he has to put me on notice saying that if you do, on this date, if you do not appear, then I shall proceed ex parte and pass such orders or an award in your absence. In this case, there is an admitted absence of such peremptory notice on the same day he concluded the arbitration and then my lord he and passed an award the on the same day which was conveyed to me later for 30 lakhs plus interest now my lord my first point is such a challenge by way of a writ petition is maintainable when natural justice my lord has been denied well lord, just allow me to rely on two judgments yes, yes. Or in them, Kindly grants me one moment, my yes, yes. No, no, where is mine? Where is the copy? My lord, this is twenty twenty two. SCC Online, Urissa 77. Your Lordship might find the name of the learned judge familiar. I was anticipating that, actually. Yes. My Lord, kindly allow me to place paragraph. One and three the facts, very briefly. Mr. Panigrahi, learned advocate, appears on behalf of the petitioner. He submits impugned award dated so-and-so made by Director of Industries, Orisha. This award was perpetually made under Section 18 of the Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Act. He submits there should be interference in the jurisdiction because there are no reasons given in the award in dealing with his client's conditions and the claims are barred by limitation. But now my Lord will be pleased to come to paragraph 3. Contention. Without prejudice to the above contention, he submits, there is alternative efficacious statutory remedy available to the petitioner. The remedy lies under Section 19 of the Act read with Section 34 in the Arbitration Conciliation Act. Petitioner's ground of challenge here and against the award are to be urged under Section 34 of the 1996 Act. The court should not be moved to interfere in exercise of its extraordinary jurisdiction. Now kindly come to paragraph 11. It appears from above extracts of the contentions and basis of award. I'm sorry. No, no, it's all right. Please. 
It appears from above extracts of the contentions and basis of award reproduced in the last two preceding paragraphs. The point of limitation was not adjudicated at all. The situation emerged is that the petitioner was not heard. Even under the act of 2006, a person is entitled to plead in defense at the first instance against a claim lodged before the council. Remedy on a person being aggrieved by the award passed under section 18 is there, but it is coupled with the condition precedent of deposit or event or in event challenge to the award is to be invoked into for adjudication. This condition the law requires for the party aggrieved to fulfill before there is adjudication. Question is whether the petitioner is aggrieved by a reasoning or he does has not been heard at all. Paragraph 13, the Supreme Court in Shilpi so-and-so declared the law to be that provisions of Limitation Act apply to arbitrations, but the limitation is not important. Paragraph 14, the question for consideration adjudication answer is where the petitioner was heard. Court is convinced that in the facts and circumstances of Forsett, petitioner was not given or given the right of hearing. It was entitled to under the act of 2006. Petitioner cannot be compelled to seek setting aside of the award on being aggrieved. As such, it is a clear case when there must be interference in writ jurisdiction. The writ petition is found to be maintainable. Patel engineering is not applicable in this case. Paragraph 45 must be read in context of adjudication by the Supreme Court regarding whether or not appointment, etc. Well, let's kindly see paragraph 15. It must be remembered that an arbitration concluded by award on a reference under section 18.3 of the Act of 2006 cannot be equated with an arbitration under an arbitration agreement between the parties, even if compelled as constituted by the Chief Justice. In Patel Engineering, there was disapproval of the stand taken by some high courts that any order passed by the arbitral tribunal is capable of correction in writ jurisdiction. Case in hand is not a matter of correction, but to address grievance of the petitioner that he was not heard at all. In compelling petitioner to statutory remedy of seeking setting aside of award, necessarily petitioner will be required to deposit 75% of the award, all this in consonance of, an emission, of omission to hear and adjudicate at the first instance. Paragraph 16. In Prakash Mittal and Sons, obviously, is deprecation of sharp practice adopted by the litigants in Roita India Limited, this bench refused to interfere in the writ jurisdiction in spite of petition therein having relied on judgments of the Supreme Court to urge statutory compliance of provisions in section 18, mandating inter alia conciliation before reference to arbitration. No view was expressed by this bench, since on similar point, there was no interference by Anupam Industries. This case is distinguishable on facts. Petitioner's contention was rejected out of hand on observation that petitioner instead ought to have established the facts for delay for non-payment. Therefore, petitioner was not heard at all for there to be, for there to be said there was adjudication for passing of award. Well, that, I have, my Lord, other judgments. If my Lord so desires, I can show it. But since today we are on the prima facie thing, and since they are not here. Mr. Paswa, I'm against you still. Still. Then let me and show you. Question of maintainability. That's where you yes. place your judgments. Yes. Okay. My Lord, the next. Next. Okay. Uh, it's an, you know, I'm judgment at all. Two thousand and twenty-two SCC Online, Calcutta, two five eight two, a division men judgment of this honourable court. Yes. Kindly come to paragraph seven. Yes. To show that this was the appellants claim that they were entitled to get compensation and the right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition, rehabilitation and resettlement act as per the fourth schedule. Next paragraph eight. It however appears from the order impugned dated June 21, 2019, that before the learned single judge, the writ petitioner submitted that an award had been passed by the arbitrator without any notice to them. And the copy of the award had also not been served upon them. And the state also conceded that copy of the award was not served upon the appellants. My Lord, I need not place everything. Just a minute, my Lord. Yes. Kindly come to paragraph 16. Yes, please.
in support of the proposition that grievance related to arbitral awards should not be entertained by the High Court in view of the alternative remedy under Section 34 of the Arbitration Conciliation Act, he relied upon the judgments of Sarova and Narmada Nigam Limited, Rukmini Bai Gupta, Project Director National Highways, etc. It is also the case of the National Highways Authority that Section 24.2 of the Act of 2013 is not applicable to the Act of 56. In this regard, Mr. Shannal has placed reliance upon a judgment of the coordinate bench of this court passed in MAT number so and so. Since now, my Lord kindly comes to paragraph 24. Hmm. It is the specific case of the writ petitioner's appellants that no notice of arbitration was served upon them and the arbitral award was passed behind their back. The respondents have not been able to refute the set stand by producing any notice of arbitration being served upon the writ petitioners. Here, my Lord, I am not saying I didn't know about the second date. I'm saying there was no peremptory notice, so he couldn't have proceeded with or concluded the hearing, my Lord, on that day ex parte and passed the award. The arbitrator was a statutory arbitrator under the Act of 56. He was mandated by Section 3G of the Act to conduct the arbitration in terms of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act. The arbitration award itself reveals that in disposing of 299 arbitration petitions in one day, and in a single hearing, the principle of natural justice was given a go-by, much less the compliance of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act of 1996. In the a force factual matrix, we are not ready to accept the argument of alternative remedy as advanced by Mr. Shannal, though we have no quarrel with the proposition of law laid down in the judgments relied upon by him. We are therefore not inclined to relegate the appellants to the remedies available under Section 34 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act in view of the flagrant violation of the principle of natural justice in passing the award in question by a statutory arbitrator. Accordingly, the award dated so-and-so is set aside so far as the writ petitioners are concerned. Well, there's one more. <laughs> it's a pleasure to hear you, Mr. Basu. Because no, of your my, my Lord is very kind. Experience and anticipation. No, no, no. My Lord yes. is very kind. Amartya Lao. My Lord, this is of Madras High Court. Yes. Kindly come to paragraph 10 first. Right. Yes. Even under the Act of 2006, a person is entitled to plead in defense at the first instance against a claim lodged before the council. Remedy on a person being sorry, agreed... Paragraph 10 is something else in my copy. The impugned order appeared to have been passed. Oh, that is I, I am sorry, my Maybe Lord. Maybe internal I... paragraph 10 of some other oh, judgment. My Lord, I am seeing the wrong. I am sorry. I think, yes. Uh, this is... Kindly grants me a moment. Yes. Feedback in for private. Yeah, I am sorry. Yes. Paragraph 12. Paragraph 12. Well, there's a reference to Ramesh Conductors Private Limited. Yes, that's paragraph 12. Yes. Kindly come. In the next paragraph, there is a reference to another judgment. Kindly come to paragraph 14. Yes. The sir. law laid down in the above mentioned decisions are squarely applicable to the facts of the present case. Therefore, the impugned order passed by the first respondent cannot be termed as an award passed under the provisions of the Arbitration Act. This is going so far as to say that if you've passed an award without hearing me, it is not even to be considered as an award. So the question of the application of 34 doesn't arise. Though Section 34.2A3 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act enables the aggrieved party to challenge the award on the ground that no proper notice of the appointment of an arbitrator or of the arbitral proceedings was given to it, or it was otherwise unable to present his case. In the present case, as mentioned earlier, the second respondent not even filed a claim statement after initiation of arbitration proceedings. And in the absence of filing of pleadings and recording of evidence as per the provisions of the Arbitration Act, this court has already come to a conclusion that the impugned order cannot be termed as an award. In such circumstances, 
the petitioner need not be relegated to challenge the same under Section 34 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act with Section 19 of the MSME Act. If he is relegated to avail the alternative remedy under Section 19 of the Act, the petitioner has to deposit 75% of the amount as directed by the first respondent counsel in the impugned order. Directing the petitioner to deposit 75% of the amount as per the impugned order is highly inequitable in a case where there is no filing of pleadings and leading of evidence as per the provisions of the Arbitration Act. And in view of the conclusion reached by the court that the impugned order cannot be termed as an award with the meaning of the Arbitration Act, I hold the petitioner is entitled to invoke Article 226 of the Constitution. Well, these are on questions of maintainability. I have also cases to show to your Lordship that the question of issuance of a peremptory notice is mandatory. It so is so not. If you have those, you can cite. Yes. Because that is related to maintainability. Yes. I should it's on such a footing that 226 should be. Yes. Kindly. And Delhi High Court to the I am relying on a judgment passed by Delhi High Court for the simple reason that there are many Calcutta High Court decisions which are referred to over here. This is 2023 SCC Online Delhi 977. Kindly. First. Those submissions should really do not matter, but still there is one paragraph. Kindly come to paragraph three. Yes. Learned counsel appearing on behalf of the petitioner submitted that the award was erroneous and bad in law. There was no attempt to serve the petitioner with a show cause notice or any other peremptory notice order before the learned arbitrator proceeded ex parte against the petitioner. It is also submitted that the learned arbitrator failed to observe the provisions laid down under section 25B and 25C of the Arbitration Act. According to the set provisions, the learned arbitrator had the past to inquire whether there was sufficient cause for absence of the party at the hearing and for the same should have issued a notice before proceeding ex parte. Mm -hmm. Kindly, my Lord, mm -hmm. kindly come to paragraph I'm not showing you that. Just a minute. Yes. Paragraph eighteen, issue number one. A preliminary objection raised on behalf of the petitioner is that sufficient notice was not served upon it before the arbitration proceedings were proceeded against him ex parte. The respondent had furnished the notice under Section 27. Notice dated 27th May 2018 upon the petition in accordance with Section 21, suggesting three arbitrators to adjudicate the disputes to the said notice the petitioner furnished its reply dated so-and-so, etc. And pending, therefore, the petitioner could not. Paragraph 20. Thereafter, admittedly, no communication was made by or on behalf of the respondent initiating, intimating the initiation of the arbitration proceedings. It was only in the month of December 2018 that the petitioner had received a communication from the arbitrator concerned, calling upon the petitioner to appear for the arbitration proceedings at the time and place decided. It is the case of the petitioner since the proceedings against the respondent pertaining to the disputes between the parties were already pending, which was also in the knowledge of the respondent, the arbitrator the arbitration proceedings ought not to have been initiated or continued. My Lord, then section 25 of the Arbitration Act is quoted. Come to paragraph 22. The instant case lies within the ambit of section 25C of the Arbitration Act. Here the petitioner chose not to appear before the learned arbitrator. I gave an email saying I will not be able to come. However, the pertinent question to be answered is whether before proceeding ex parte against the petitioner, was there any procedural requirement 
including furnishing of notice, etc., to be fulfilled by the learned arbitrator or the respondent. A bare reading of the provision shows that an arbitrator may continue the proceedings and make the arbitral award on the evidence before it where a party fails to appear at an oral hearing or to produce documentary evidence without showing sufficient cause, unless otherwise is decided amongst the parties. It is clear that before taking an action in accordance with Section 25C of the Arbitration Act, the arbitrator is to examine whether the absence of the parties is with or without showing sufficient cause. Therefore, it is evident that an opportunity is to be given to a party to the dispute before the arbitrator decides to proceed on the basis of the evidence before it. In the landmark judgment of Jugilal Kamlapath, my lord, this is a Calcutta decision, the principle of peremptory notice for ex party proceedings and principle of prejudice being caused in case of such ex party proceedings was discussed. My lord, on those facts, the court held that the holding of the arbitration proceedings on the first day without any notice to the defendants was itself sufficient to invalidate the award, and that throughout the arbitrators had rushed the hearing of the case without paying any attention to the protests of the defendants. Referring to the meeting of the first day, the learned chief justice observed in holding that meeting, the arbitrators did not appear to him to have acted with absolute impartiality, with that sense of fairness to both sides, which was so essential and so preliminary element in cases of both sides. The necessity of giving a notice of an intention to proceed ex parte in the event of the non-appearance of a party was not specifically referred to in the judgment, but the learned chief justice said that it was a strong thing for the arbitrators to proceed after the letter of the defendant's attorney without giving any further intention that they intended to proceed. The conduct of the arbitrators it was held amounted to misconduct. My Lord, in the next paragraph, my Lord, AIR 1924 Calcutta, perhaps the parent case, again, there also, my Lord, no notice, paragraph 29 there, if, on the other hand, it appears that the defaulting party had absented himself with a view to preventing justice or defeating the object of the reference, the arbitrator should issue a notice that he intends at a specified time and place to proceed with the reference, and that if the party concerned does not attend, he will proceed in his absence. That is the concept, my lord, of a peremptory notice. But if after making such a peremptory appointment and issuing such a notice, the arbitrator does not in fact proceed ex parte on the day fixed, but fixes another subsequent date, he cannot proceed ex parte on such subsequent date unless he issues a similar notice notice in respect of that date as well. My Lord, I take your Lordship 26, to 26. paragraph 26. Another Calcutta High Court judgment. The Calcutta High Court in the, it seems, my lord, everybody likes to rely on Calcutta High Court and At its least, This particular learned judge might have been a connection. <laughs> the Calcutta High Court in Magma Leasing Limited versus Gujarat Composite Limited, entertaining the question whether the arbitrator therein was right to proceed ex parte due to non appearance of the party on one hearing observed as under while remitting the case back to the arbitrator. That is what I would invite your lordship to do. Now coming to the merit of the matter, it appears to us that Learned First Court has held upon applying his mind that opportunity of being heard was not given and also that no reason was given by the Learned Arbitrator. We shall deal with the decision of the First Court regarding giving of opportunity. It appears from the records that Learned Arbitrator at one point of time proceeded with this matter without any evidence being adduced and we think this procedure is not illegal. From the records, we find that notices were given upon both the parties on each and every occasion. The respondent appeared before the learned arbitrator and participated in the proceedings, either effectively making submission or obtaining adjournment. However, on the last occasion, the respondent failed to appear. On that date itself, the learned arbitrator proceeded with and finally concluded the hearing and thereafter award was passed. In our opinion, the aforesaid provision is enabling provision and ample discretion has been left with the learned tribunal with the word may. It is settled proposition of law that power of discretion is to be exercised with restraint. And when there are 
other options left, in particular in judicial and quasi-judicial proceedings. It does not mean that the learned arbitrator should, should exercise this extreme power in case of one default. We are not for a single moment supporting the lackadaisical litigant to take refuge to the aforesaid discretionary provision. Discretion is always a judicial if not judicious. Judicious action demands in a case of this nature that on one hand, unnecessary latitude of indulgence should not be given. And on the other hand, the learned arbitrator should not proceed hastily. There are decisions of this court while considering and discussing the procedure or arbitration proceedings held under repealed Arbitration Act 1940, wherein court formulated concept of serving peremptory notice of hearing so that a litigant may be warned if he defaults in future final act may be performed by the learned arbitrator. In this connection, a decision of the division bench, my love, that 55 Calcutta, which I referred to earlier. Here, factually, the respondent defaulted only on one day, like us. And we think the learned arbitrator should not have exercised discretionary power while conducting 20. the hearing, while concluding the hearing. 20. 27. Therefore, it is abundantly clear, though not stipulated under the act in clear terms. It has always been preferred and encouraged that an arbitrator provides a peremptory notice to any party against whom it is seeking to proceed ex parte. There is no doubt to the fact that in an instant case, the learned arbitrator did not communicate the fact of proceeding being initiated, continued, and proceeded with ex parte to the petitioner, which it ought to have at some point of time before making the award. Strong observations have been made on this question by the courts, and hence this court also submits the observations as contained in the as quoted in the foregoing paragraphs. The action on the part of the learned arbitrator was erroneous and, heron, and hence warrants interference from this court. Well, that is all. Well, two small points. Well, kindly see the way I've been harassed. I told your lordship, my lord, out of two, two crores, 55 lakhs, two crores has been paid. 55 lakhs was due. Why? Because E1 forms were not being given. And I also raised a problem and dispute regarding quality. Initially, mediation was there. In the course of the mediation, I paid another 20 lakhs. And my lord, which reduced it even further. But because E1 forms were not given and that problem was not resolved, the, my lord, the sales tax authorities, my lord, raised a claim of five crores on me. I had to prefer an appeal before the appellate authority. Five crores was reduced to 47 lakhs. Thereafter also, my Lord, it was said that 22 lakhs out of the 47 lakhs was due to the quality. Thereafter, my Lord, respondent number three initiated, my Lord, arbit statutory arbitration under section 18. And in the statutory arbitration, my Lord, two dates were fixed. First day I was there. Second day, my Lord, I said, so, so do you by any chance have a copy of the order of uh, 5th of August uh, before the, that tribunal? Do you don't know? Uh, it is there in the award. It is there. In the not award. necessary. I mean, just uh, yes. Just my my lord grant, kindly grants me a one, moment. One, yes, yes. The award is at page one fifty two. Yes, minutes. One fifty six. My lord has found it. Yes, right. Mr. So-and-so representative appeared for the supplier unit and advocate appearing on behalf of the buyer unit. I'm the buyer right. representative of the supplier unit explained that they supplied the materials for buyers project at Nagaland. He further stated that they supplied the materials as per order of the buyer unit and buyer unit made some part payment. Now total outstanding due is 30 lakhs approximately. Advocate of the buyer stated that it is an admitted fact that 55 lakhs was due from 2018 and during the conciliation process, they made payment of 25 lakhs and the rest amount is due because one of the contractors did not release their payment due to pandemic situation. Furthermore, the said unit is under NCLT. So he, the due amount has not been paid by the said unit to the buyer unit. Advocate of the buyer unit requested for some time to clear the due amount. On query, advocate of the buyer unit seeks six months time to clear the dues amount. He further assured that if he got the due amount from the said unit, then buyer unit would release the due amount much earlier. He explained that due to pandemic situation, more than 23 crores was due from Nagaland and Assam project. So buyer unit is unable to release 
the due amount and schedule time. Representatives of the supply unit argued that as per the mutual agreement made in 2020, it was decided that buyer unit would make the payment within eight months, but buyer unit did not adhere to the mutual agreed points. He expresses utter dissatisfaction about the buyer's request for six months' time to clear the due. Members of the council opined that as the entire supply was made in the year 2018 and the buyer unit made some part payment and now after three years they are praying for six months' time to clear the amount is not acceptable, buyer unit was asked to release the due amount within 90 days and it was decided it that if buyer unit failed to clear the due amount within 90 days, the matter would be taken up for final arbitration hearing. Now, my Lord, kindly see the notice which, notice which I had sent him. Kindly come to page 146. It was sent on the 16th of February. The meeting was held for seven, uh, held on 17th February. Just see the penultimate paragraph. 136. 146. 146, yes. 146, yes. My love, kindly see, it is our notice to them. My love, read the second paragraph also with me, my Lord. I would like to place on record that in spite of various communications, the claimants had failed to provide the mandatory E1 forms for which the sales tax authorities had made self-assessment and imposed demands and penalties along with interest and crores of rupees for non-submission of the E1 forms by Winston International. Winson International is the respondent number three. That apart, various materials supplied by Winson International were defective, but the defective materials were not replaced by the supplier, which resulted in financial losses apart from undue harassment and mental agony. Reputed communications were made from our end, but no positive response was given by the Winson International, while at the same time, the claimants were pressing for payments, which they are not illegally entitled. Situated thus, we were compelled to suffer huge financial losses, both on account of non-furnishing of E1 forms and supply of defective materials by the claimants, for which it has become all the more necessary to file a counterclaim for recovery of the damages and pecuniary losses so incurred. I would further like to inform you that I'm presently outstationed in connection with some official work and shall not be available till the first week of March 2022, for which it would not be possible on my part to attend the online hearing on 17 2 2022 at 12 10 p.m. and therefore request you to kindly defer the online hearing for a period of one month so as to enable me to file my statement of defense and counterclaim so as to effectively defend my case. At least for me, their notice dated 10th of February, to which you refer here. The first, very first sentence you referred to a notice. They gave a notice to you, to which you replied. 10th of February, 22. Well, this, we, I, I'm told, my Lord, you know, we have not annexed this. Introduce it. If my Lord so desires, I can see if it can be located. I'm sure. no, not necessarily, so I'll decide. So, on my Lord, and where I was placing the award on page 157 is where... My Lord, on 17th of February, the decision is taken. So today, my humble and respectful submission to your Lordship is, yes. following the decisions which I have tried to submit before your Lordship, yes. the writ petition is maintainable. Hmm. Secondly, if the writ petition is maintainable, there is a question of setting aside the award on the ground of violation of natural justice. In this regard, Besides going into the pure question of law, I would humbly request your Lordship to keep the factual aspect also in mind, where, my Lord, a 2 crore 55 lakh claim has been cleared and only 30 lakhs are due and payable. And consider the harassment that I have gone through, including facing a charge from the sales tax authorities who slapped me with a demand of 5 crores. I had to prefer an appeal and even proceed thereafter. Those documents are there. So kindly, my Lord, in my very humble and respectful submission, set aside the award or stay the award at least for the time being. I do not know if the other side is there. And my Lord, permit me an opportunity to furnish my statement of defense and counterclaim, if any, whether I will succeed or not is immaterial at this stage for your Lordship to decide in my own very humble and respectful submission. But kindly set aside the award, revert the matter back to the council, so that, my Lord, at least I'm given a hearing. And, my Lord, this basic 
fault and lacuna which exists in their conduct by not giving me a peremptory notice, which so many courts of law, my Lord, have repeatedly said is imperative. My Lord should be closed up. Yes. The present challenge has been preferred against an odd, against an award passed in an arbitral proceeding held within the contemplation of section 18 of the MSME Act 2006. Push up next para. Leonard Senior Counsel appearing for the petitioner submits that the present petition is maintainable in view of the palpable injustice which has been done in the present case. Push up it is contended that service of a peremptory notice to the effect that in the event of absence of a party the matter, the hearing would be taken up ex parte, was not given to the petitioner, comma, which vitiates the award itself. First up, it is further contended that in the facts of the case, comma, only a meager sum was due and payable by the petitioner, even as per the claims of the respondents. First up, that apart, comma, the petitioner had to suffer the ignominy and harassment of previous litigation unnecessarily for such paltry sum. For sub next para, Leonard Senior Council places reliance on a judgment of a Leonard Single Judge of the Odisha High Court rendered in Bajaj Electricals Limited versus Micro Small and Enterprisers Facilitation and another reported at 2022 SCC Online Odisha page 77. First up, in the said case, comma, the learned single judge observed, comma, inter alia, that the question therein was whether the petitioner was aggrieved by a reasoning or he had not been heard at all. First up, next para, the learned single judge went on to observe that the question for consideration, comma, adjudication and answer is whether the petitioner was heard, full stop. The court was convinced that in the facts and circumstances of the case, comma, the petitioner was not heard or given the right of hearing it was entitled to under the Act of 2006. Full stop. Next para. Learned Senior Counsel next places reliance on a division bench judgment of this court rendered in Ganesh Chandra Ghosh versus State of West Bengal and others reported at 2022 SCC Online Cal 2582. First up, the division bench observed in the said case that the petitioner's specific case was that no notice of arbitration was served upon them and the arbitral award was passed behind their back. First up, the division bench further observed that the arbitrator was a statutory arbitrator under the 1956 Act and he was mandated by Section 3, capital G, within bracket 6 of the said Act to conduct the arbitration in terms of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996. First up, the arbitration award, the arbitral award itself comma, it was observed, comma, revealed that in disposing of as many as uh, 299 arbitration petitions in a single day and in a single hearing, comma, the principle of natural justice was given a complete go-by, comma, much less the compliance of the 1996 Act. Full stop. In such factual matrix, comma, it was observed, comma, the division bench was not ready to accept the argument of alternative remedy in view of the flagrant violation of the principle of natural justice in passing the award in question. First up, next para, Leonard Senior Counsel next contends that the issuance of a peremptory notice of ex parte hearing is mandatory. First up, in support of such contention, comma, Leonard Senior Counsel cites an unreported single judge decision of the Madras High Court in Messrs. Feedback Infra Private Limited versus such and such, where the learned single judge went on to observe that the impugned order passed by the first respondent therein 
cannot be termed as an award passed under the provisions of the 1996 act first up do section 34 within bracket 2 within bracket small a within bracket iii of the 96 act enables that aggrieved party the aggrieved party the aggrieved party to challenge the award on the ground that no proper notice of appointment of an arbitrator or of the arbitral proceedings was given or it was otherwise unable to present his case comma in the case before the madras high court comma the second respondent not even filed a claim statement after initiation of arbitration proceedings and in the absence of filing of pleadings and recording of evidence as per the 96 act comma the court had already come to a conclusion that the impugned order could not be termed as an award first up under such circumstances comma the court invoked the power under article 226 of the constitution of india first up next para in the the petitioners next site mittal pigments private limited versus gale gas limited reported at 2023 scc online del 977 where again comma a learned single judge of the delhi high court went on to observe that sufficient notice was not served upon the petitioner before the arbitration proceedings were proceeded against him ex parte first up next para in the said case comma admittedly no communication was made on or be, uh, on or behalf of the respondent intimating the initiation of arbitration proceedings first up only in the month of december 2018 comma the petitioner had received a communication from the arbitrator calling upon the petitioner to appear for the arbitration proceedings at the time and place decided first up it was observed that the said case lies within the ambit of section 25 within bracket small c of the arbitration act first up the petitioner comma it was observed comma chose not to appear before the learned arbitrator first up however comma the pertinent question was that whether before proceeding ex parte there was any procedural requirement including furnishing of notice etc to be fulfilled by the learned arbitrator first up next para on a reading of section 25 within bracket small c of the arbitration act comma the court held that the arbitrator is to examine whether the absence of the parties is or without showing sufficient cause first up the learned arbitrator referred to several judgments while coming to its conclusion learned arbitrator bolam the learned single judge referred to several judgments comma some of whom some of which are of this court comma before coming to its conclusions first up next para before deciding the issue of maintainability of the present writ petition in the teeth of an alternative remedy under section 34 of the arbitration and conciliation act 1996 comma read with section 19 of the msme act uh, 2006 comma the scope of section 18 is required to be looked into first up section 18 within bracket 3 of the 2006 act clearly provides that the provisions of the 1996 act shall apply to the di- dispute comma once it is referred to arbitration under the said act comma double inverted mode tarpor as if the arbitration was in pursuance of an arbitration agreement referred to in subsection 1 of section 7 of that act double inverted clause first up next para section 19 of the act provides that no application for setting aside any decree comma award comma etc na award or other order made either by the council itself or by any institution or center providing alternative dispute resolution services to which reference is made comma shall be entertained by any court unless the appellant within bracket not being a supplier bracket close has deposited with it 75% of the amount in terms of the award 
full stop next para thus comma a conjunctive reading of the said two provisions indicates that the provisions of section 34 of the 96 act comma read with the precondition of 75% deposit as stipulated in section 19 of the 2006 act comma is the appropriate remedy before a person aggrieved by the award under normal circumstances for sub next para it has to be explored in the context of section 34 whether the petitioner stands the scrutiny of an exceptional case to override the alternative remedy in the present case for sub next para section 34 of the arbitration and conciliation act comma it has to be kept in mind comma is not an ordinary appeal but stipulates specific conditions under which an interference can be taken out full stop next para it is also required to be remembered that after coming into force of the 1996 act in line with the ancestral law in that regard comma the scheme of the legislature is clearly to uh, stimulate arbitration and the arbitral process comma with the least interference of the court comma which is also clearly provided within the contemplation of the arbitration act itself first up under the said act comma the judicial interference shall be minimal for sub next para seen in such perspective comma the scope of interference de horse section 34 with an arbitral award is extremely limited full stop next para in so far as the judgments cited by learned senior counsel are concerned comma the same do not help the petitioner much full stop as uh, as far as bajaj electricals limited supra is concerned comma the learned single judge had observed that whether uh, observed that the petitioner was not heard or given the right of hearing it was entitled to under the act of 2006 first up next para the case is different in the present circumstances first up here comma the petitioner was given a hearing on august 5 2021 first up thereafter the petitioner chose not to Uh, put in its defense first up next para subsequently comma vide notice by way of an email dated february 10 2022 comma the resp- the petitioner was informed that a final hearing of the matter was fixed first up next para the petitioner although did not appear in such hearing comma gave uh, issued an email on february 16 2022 indicating to the authorities that it would not be possible for the petitioner since the petitioner would remain out station comma to be available during the relevant period of hearing first up the petitioner also sought an adjournment and the opportunity to file a statement of defense and counter claim to effectively defend his case first up next para in so uh, thus comma it cannot be said that the petitioner did not get any opportunity of hearing as at all comma which were the circumstances in bajaj electrical supra for sub next para in ganesh chandra ghosh and others supra comma the division bench took into consideration the extenuating circumstance that the arbitral award impugned before the court itself had been passed by a statutory arbitrator comma disposing of as many as 299 arbitration petitions in a single day and in a single hearing which comma of course comma was an ex facie travesty of justice for sub the court comma in such circumstances comma held that there was a flagrant violation of the principle of natural justice which prompted the court to observe that a challenge under article 226 was maintainable first up next para the petitioner in the present case has not made out such a high ground first up next para the judgment rendered by the madras high court in messrs feedback infra private limited 
observed comma inter alia comma that no proper notice of the appointment of no, sorry observed inter alia that the second respondent had not even filed a claim statement after initiation of arbitration proceedings first up the court clearly observed that in the absence of filing of pleadings and recording of evidence as per the provisions of the 1996 act comma the court had come to a conclusion that the impugned order was not fit to be called an award at all first up in such circumstances only comma the learned single judge of the madras high court interfered under article 226 of the constitution of india first up here comma as opposed to the said case comma a claim statement had definitely been filed and a first opportunity of hearing was given to the petitioner on august 5 2022 first up next para uh, 2021 sorry first up next para however comma the petitioner had not filed its defense thereafter first up thus comma the facts of the present case are not akin to that before the madras high court in the report reported judgment comma since there no pleadings were filed by either of the parties comma nor was any scope of recording of evidence there first up in the present case comma however comma it cannot be said that the arbitral award is so tainted that the same cannot be called an arbitral award at all first up next para in the judgment of mittal pigments private limited comma the learned single judge of the delhi high court comma noticeably comma was hearing a petition under section 34 of the 1996 act and not an application under article 226 of the constitution of india first up while taking into consideration the challenge of the petitioner there in comma the court had observed that under the arbitration act 1940 comma the court had formulated a concept of serving peremptory notice of hearing so that a litigant may be warned if he defaults in future first sub next para in fact comma all the judgments cited in the said uh, in mittal pigments private limited comma apart from magma leasing limited versus gujarat composite limited comma where from proceedings under the 19 uh, under the arbitration act 1940 first up next para the scheme of things under the 1940 act contemplated much more interference by the courts than the present act of 1996 first up next para we also have to keep in mind that section 25 of the 1996 act has brought in a new era into the field of arbitration first up next para remaining on the topic of mittal pigment supra comma the same had also considered the proposition laid down in magma leasing limited first up however comma the concept of prelim uh, uh, preliminary notice of ex parte hearing is not inbuilt into the scheme of the 1996 act first up to such extent comma this court cannot but differ with utmost respect from the view of the madras high uh, of the delhi high court for sub next para a uh, cursory re reading of section 25 of the 1996 act indicates that under the said provision comma unless otherwise agreed by the parties where comma without showing sufficient cause comma the respondent fails to communicate his statement of defense in accordance with subsection 1 of section 23 comma the arbitral tribunal shall continue the proceedings without treating that failure in itself as an admission of the allegations by the claimant and shall have the discretion to treat the right of the respondent to file such statement of defense as having been forfeited for sub under subsection c of section 25 comma a party now when a party fails to appear at an oral hearing or to produce documentary evidence comma without showing sufficient cause comma the arbitral tribunal may continue the proceedings and make the arbitral award on the evidence before it full stop per c comma the contrary need not be read into section 25 small c in so far as 
if some reason is shown for the non appearance of a party comma the arbitral tribunal cannot continue with the proceedings first up there is no such fetter in the uh, in section 25 of nine of the 1996 act to vitiate an award so much so as to call for interference under the high ground of judicial review under article 226 of the constitution of india push up next para as is well settled comma for the for exploding the window under article 226 of, of the constitution comma a patently arbitrary act comma malafides comma palpable violation of the law and or a uh, patent arbitrariness is to be established first up in the present case comma no such yardstick has been satisfied by the petitioner first up next para insofar as the provisions of section 34 of the 1996 act is concerned comma the same comma in subsection 2 within bracket small a within bracket roman 3 provides that one of the grounds of challenge under section 34 is that the party making the application under section 34 was not given proper notice of the appointment of an arbitrator or of the italic or of the arbitral proceedings or was otherwise unable to present his case first up thus comma the petitioner can very well establish comma if the petitioner is so entitled in law comma to show before the uh, court taking up the section 34 application if preferred comma that the petitioner falls within the purview of section 34 within bracket 2 within bracket small a within bracket iii first up next para in such scenario comma this court does not find any reason to interfere with the award under article 226 of the constitution of india first up accordingly wpa 11265 of 2023 is dismissed as not entertained comma with liberty to the petitioner to approach the appropriate authority with a challenge under section 34 of the arbitration and conciliation at 1996 upon compliance of the statutory stipulation of section 19 within bracket 1 of the MSME Act 2006. First up, it is made clear that this court has not gone into the merits of the contentions of either of the parties and it will be open to the parties to agitate all points before a challenge comma if taken out under section 34 of the 1996 Act. No rest to go, Sergeant Sir. Extremely sorry, sir. My Lord, I am going to read file. Kutte chai. Department to go. Grant to go. No, I am going to department to go. I'll continue after the recess. I'll continue after the recess. My lord. My lord. My, my, it, no, I'll department to file.
mention no mention at this my call on the discount only one second indulge no mentioning i'm i'm not mentioning it was uh, i'm told that it was my lord had directed yes who is appearing item 17 you are appearing yes what is that 17 million mr shoptoshi dot is appearing on behalf of the fci not kindly make it not today why mm. upgraded matter Yes, me not. They have mentioned, but not intimated us. <laughs> yes, sorry, sorry. Tomorrow then. Me not. No. Not today. Next. Call, 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 call. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yes. 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 Yes.
to prepare the agreement you are directed to deposit amount 885000 such and such immediately for further necessary agreement and others then what happened mr mukherjee have seen now lord said immediately deposit at the same kindly that, come page 59 that, after that seen that yes then lord said immediately kindly see the series of the representation to execute the contract not doing it nothing done i challenging the inaction i filed the writ petition then they immediately received the notice of the writ petition and kindly come my supplementary affidavit already on record the annexure page 4 page 4 page 4 your page 4 looks like page 9 actually i'm sorry lord sir handwriting is similar to mine <laughs> yes page 4 i've seen page 4 what is your argument on cancellation of existing order and refund of the payment for installation of the hoarding at ctc park around howda station area with reference to the above mentioned matter this is to inform you that the appropriate authority of kmd has cancelled the order for installation of hoarding at ctc park which was communicated to you by such and such you are accordingly requested to submit your bank account details to the office of the uh, undersign at the earliest upon receipt of the communication for refund of the amount of rupees 885000 you have challenged this now you are challenging this also now i am challenging this also also this this cancellation order prior to that no, no notice has been served no chance of hearing has been given all on a sudden immediately after getting the notice of the repetition this order has been issued without assent this no reason has been assigned why is speaking this furnishes a new cause of action new cause of action also this is anyway I'll... Lots of no no uh, reasons has been assigned why this lots of the my uh, lots of the uh, you have challenge not challenge this in the writ petition your this, writ petition has become infectious but you can add this probably I mean in the prayer yes this yes, what do you I say Mr. Kumar petition in action goes you have acted acted in a in a very my lord may I just say, manner, may I just say this my lord my lord is well aware that this is a uh, authority which cannot uh, directly give. uh agency a contract without even any advertisement or calling for any public tender well this entire thing arose because of a request letter that was received may i just hand up my learned friend is very well aware of i am handing up a copy once in 2017 from calcutta state transport corporation well the wordings are very important may i just place this thing this this was addressed to the chief executive officer kmda this is to brought to your kind notice to the fact in the, that in recent times audit has advised cstt to explore means to generate non traffic revenue for betterment of financial status of the corporation in the interest of generating non traffic revenue has allowed messer at the agency messer so and so the repetitioner to display advertisement on the hoarding at howrah station bus terminus white so and so dated at for the period from 1 first 7 2016 to 30th of june 2000 the agency was advised to approach appropriate authority kmda to pay requisite fees for such purpose accordingly agency has obtained noc from your n dated ato and erected hoarding at this site it is learned my lord kindly mark it is learned from reliable source that you are going to allot the site to the private agency for advertisement purpose through tender process hence you are therefore requested to allow messer signs at for continuing business till completion of the contract period that is 30 june 2017 and stay call for proce- proposed tender notice it will not be out of context to mention cstt is ctc has always maintained cordial relations with kmd and recently allowed kmd to build a storm water management project at its headquarters so and so this Very- is relevant So now, my lord, it was at the request of CSTC since 2017. We were already deciding that it it will be completely unfair on the part of the authorities if the authority directly favors a person because tomorrow another person will come and say that how could you even grant? It was at the request. My lord has seen the wordings. CSTC, we have allowed once, and thereafter we have allowed him to continue. But however, my lord, the competent authority has taken a very conscious call, and which is the correct conscious call to put up this thing for auction. How do you explain page fifty-eight then, my lord? I will come. Yes. Now, my lord, in the meantime, before this decision was taken or in the process, 
because of the uh, my learned friend was uh, friend's client was continuing with it he has been asked to deposit this money but subsequent to which my lord it was a, a decision that was been taken my lord that is the recording at page 4 that with reference to the above mentioned of the supplementary this is to inform you appropriate authority of kmda has cancelled so and so and coming here you are requested to submit the bank account we are going to refund the money but however we will put this particular place why for you, why do you enter into such agreements without taking sanction my lord that i that i completely bow down my lord this this uh, 23rd february 2023 they ought to not but my lord at that point of time it was done but at the present moment be that as it may my lord at the present moment it is the for the benefit of everyone my lord if i and it would be fair also on CTC the park. park is belongs to the cstc yes my lord cstc requested KMDS land, KMDA allows KMDA them. Land. No, I don't understand. Mr. Guho, uh, the land belongs to you. KM, KM, KMDA, 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 KMDA land. land always belongs to KMDA. What does the CSTC come in? CSTC has been, they they run the bus terminus. Calcutta State Transport Corporation. They you are bound by your agreement, yes. Mr. Guho. You yes. have entered into an agreement with a person to let him run the... Correct, correct, my lord. Sign. Now, Now that contract is over and that contract was time and again we have tried so this to... is a new contract you agree there is a consensus at item page 58 correct if you agree lord. and you fix an amount they pay the amount it's over the contract is concluded now my lord may i may i just say how this does thing, this come in at all no no i'm i was just saying it is not a decision that was taken at the after this writ petition was filed but to cancel bound by the cstc no direction. why i'm saying because i i place reliance on this letter Yes. Because at the request of CST, we have been trying to put this particular place for auction since 2017. At that point of time, because of the request of CSTC, we allowed the writ petitioner to continue over there. That is my case. It was at the request of CSTC. We have allowed him to continue. Otherwise, from 2017, we have been trying to put this thing Whatever up for an maybe, auction. Mr. Guho, the moment you agree to this at page 58, yes. there is a concluded contract between you and them. If that be so, you have to honor it. It belongs to you. The land belongs to you. You have to honor it. But my lord, at the same step, same time, CSTC, lord, you I, are no, uh, CSTC is a part that I have shown. CSTC is also having the, a terminals correct, there. Correct. Maybe. Now at the request of CSTC, once we have allowed him, but it cannot go on for eternity. Now this today, is not, there is, it is not a question of a request of anybody. Mr. Guho, you independently has entered into, you did not cite any request. No, 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 correct. No, I showed they that later. It. I, now, now, my lord, what I am trying to say, my lord, tomorrow I will be saddled with too many further litigations. Why, why I say so? It is not a private contract my lord i am a yeah, i'm just i'm i'm a what i'm trying to say is that for me that lord, this is illegal this is for an illegal object well let, illegal let object Bondopada is here let him let him address my lord, my lord may I, yes my lord, may i only point out one thing my lord. my lord on the face of it my lord i understand my lord, what is falling from your logic that it seems very unreasonable my lord. but my lord your logic yes. will kindly see that the entire case made out by the petitioner is on the basis that a license was given to them now, my lord, these two parties enter into a license, but I give a license to them. My lord, since the responsibility is with, with me, my lord, once that is done, my lord, it becomes it comes into the realm of a private contract, my lord. It is two parties where I am the licensor and they are the licensee. The highest case they can make is that my lord, this I as a licensee, I have been thrown out by the licensor. My lord, in that in that context, my lord, the licensor says that I give you give back your license fee. Their their case, my lord, is in damages. Lord, and I myself say that I am going to give back your license fee. So, Lord, it is at best a termination of a license agreement. Lord, I can show from several paragraphs that it's a license. No interest is not a lease where interest is being created. They have no interest on that holding. Their permission is to the extent that I allow him. And Lord, today I do not want to continue that. And whatever they have paid, in terms of the February letter, they have paid in March. But well, we we ourselves undertake to return it. Not impressed. The Malad, they are Malad, continuing. They can they cannot also this continue. Is agreement. Page for, 58 is, is what clinches the issue. In, no, in, Malad, they cannot Malad, continue Malad, for eternity. Malad, this is also your logic will see. This is not by virtue of any public auction. This is also not by virtue of public law. This is also Malad, their continuation from uh, several years. You are bound. 
KMD is bound. Mallor, this and unless you show it's illegal for illegal purpose, contract cannot. No, Lawshree will kindly see that land. I myself undertake to return this amount. No, no, that will not do. Rights have accrued in their favor. Mallor, in in this way, Mallor, they will continue for eternity. No one will get a chance. There won't be any public. No, no, no. They will continue for one any, year as per your any so, competitive rate also. No, cannot say year. that after entering into this contract. Mallor, six you months. Public authority. KMD is a public. Mallor, six, Mallor, from this February, Mallor, six months are already gone. Eight months are already gone. You learn from the agreement. Yes, Mallor. Uh, I'll make that clear in my order. One year from your deposit date to prepare the agreement. This deposit was in March. Your fault. The deposit was made in March, Mallor. It will constitute that the date will be the date of agreement. From the date of the deposit, you cannot do whatever you like. No, Mallor. It is That's from the. Because you are a public officer. This deposit was made in March. You did not uh, do anything in pursuance of that. Hard March. It's I your fault. Up. You cannot take advantage of your own wrong. Have they been continuing in in using that property? Are uh, you using that property? No. Till that the contract has not been. So actually, on the third March, on the next date of deposit of money. I have submitted application for execute the agreement. No, Mr. Bondo, this is a bad case for you. Leonard, counsel for the petitioner contends that the petitioner initially had an agreement, stroke license to use a signboard on property belonging to the KMDA. Who sub subsequently, however, the petitioner could not run the entire length of the tenure of the agreement. Comma due to certain medical ailments of the petitioner and other reasons. First up, the petitioner challenged a tender floated by the KMDA during the subsistence of such contract. First up, however, comma subsequently the petitioner withdrew the said writ petition on the assurance of the KMDA that a new contract would be entered into with the petitioner. First up. Accordingly, vide communication dated February 23, 2023, comma, the KMDA communicated to the petitioner that the depart the concerned department had fixed the amount of charges at rupees eight, comma eighty five, comma triple zero for installation of holding around CTC Park consuming area of one thousand square feet at one time basis for the period of one year. From the deposit date to prepare the agreement. First up, next para. Learned counsel for the petitioner contends that pursuant to such concluded contract, comma, the petitioner deposited the amount that is rupees eight, comma eighty five thousand. First up, however, comma, despite repeated requests by the petitioner and the formal uh, and applications to that effect, comma, no agreement was uh, executed by the KMDA. Who's up next, Para? Learned counsel appearing for the KMDA cites a communication dated March 27, 2017, comma, a copy of which is handed over in court, comma, purportedly by the managing director of the Calcutta State Transport Corporation yes. to the managing director to the chief executive officer, KMDA, intimating that in the uh, that. In recent times, comma audit had advised CSTC to explore means to generate non-traffic revenue for betterment of financial status of the corporation. First up, in the interest of generating non-traffic revenue, CSTC had allowed the agency, that is the petitioner, to display advertisement on hoarding at the Howra station bus terminus. First up, next para. However, comma the same letter communicated that the KMDA may allow the petitioner to continue business till the completion of the contract period, that is June 30, 2017, and stay call of proposed tender notice. For sub next para, it is contended by the KMDA that as per the regular as per the norms, comma. The KMDA was required to uh, float a contract for uh, 
assigning the license uh, for granting the license for the purpose of setting up a holding full stop next para in any event comma it is pointed out that the kmda has with a communication dated june 27 2023 comma offered to return the entire amount deposited by the petitioner full stop it is submitted that the entire cause of action of the writ petition falls within the realm of private contract and at the best comma the petitioner's claim may be in damages first up learned counsel further argues that the proposed setting up of holding tantamounts to a license comma which has been sought to be terminated by the kmda first up next para a perusal of the communication dated Uh, February twenty three, twenty twenty three. Annex at page fifty eight within bracket annex at P eight bracket close of the writ petition indicates that there was consensus ad idem upon acceptance of the offer of the petitioner to set up a holding at the designated location from the end of the KMDA. Who said the KMDA even stipulated a specific amount as charges for the petitioner to set up such holding around the CTC Park? in respect of 100 square feet area pushed up it was also intimated that the said payment would be on one time basis for the period of one year the but double inverted from your deposit date to prepare the agreement double inverted close pushed up next para although several months have elapsed up after the deposit of the said amount by the petitioner comma it was the kmda which was required to execute the appropriate agreement for the petitioner to set up such uh, sign board first up since the kmda itself dilly dallied on the issue and failed to execute such agreement immediately comma the kmda cannot take advantage of its own wrong first up next para hence comma in true spirit of the agreement between the parties as reflected in in the communication dated september 23 2023 comma the date uh, the the tenure of the uh, license stroke uh, right to install a holding is required to commence from the date of execution of the agreement by the kmda in favor of the petitioner comma pursuant to the contract already entered into between the parties full stop it may be mentioned that such agreement will be a mere formal recognition of the contract already entered into between the parties on february 23 2023 which attained completion upon the petitioner depositing the amount on the very next date first up next para in such view of the matter comma wpa 114189 of 2023 is allowed comma thereby directing the Which respondent is the KMD? Executive officer. Engineer. Executive engineer. Respondent. KMDA. Respondent. Lots of the. They are directing the respondent number two or two or three. Uh, cheaper. Must be two. Must be respondent number one and two. Right. Respondent. The respondent numbers one and two. One. To execute an agreement in terms of the contract entered into the parties, pursuant. to the communication dated february 23 2023 within bracket annex chat p8 at page 58 of the writ petition bracket closed within four weeks from date full stop the said agreement shall incorporate the terms as agreed between the parties with such communication and shall commence on and from the date of execution of the said agreement between the parties full stop no address to cause certain sir Or say only one thing. Your lots is please to observe the hundred square feet. It will be thousand square. Oh, hundred. Did you say? Thousand. 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 I'm for the respondent number four, ma'am. For the petitioner's my lord. My lord, this is in respect of non-provision of firm power connection to the petitioners, despite the petitioners. Non, non, non. Pardon. Non-provision of the firm power connection. 
to the petitioner despite which is permanent electricity connection despite uh, the petitioner submitting an application complete in all respects and despite the petitioner paying the quotation amount as uh, required by the respondent number 1 wbcd sale yes, yes what do you say well uh, there are several uh, private respondents but well, uh, we have uh, this is well, uh, lying laying up all well, underground cable well, uh, they have deposited the well, uh, quotation amount we have tried well, uh, twice they have categorically well, uh, admitted in the petition that we have tried they have mentioned stated in the petition also then well, uh, we have why couldn't you do well, it kindly come to well, uh, page well, uh, 68 we have intimated and they know the fact that well, uh, there are local there were local objection that's why well, uh, we could not well, uh, execute the work Well, this is a letter that what these people they are the local local people i mean it will be taken under their land no yes. but there is a common passage but the petitioner states well, there is a well, there was a contract with well, private respondent number 5 well, and uh, that that well, may i indicate what has happened here well, my only i have purchased a, the petitioners have purchased a plot of land the only access they have to the pwd road is through a common passage which belongs to the sellers from whom i purchased the land the sale deed itself say uh, states that i have vested right in and easement right in respect of that common passage in any event that passage being the only access that i have to the pwd road any electricity connection which is to be in, uh, to be installed can only be installed through that common passage furthermore the sellers who are the owners of that passage they executed over and above the sale deed another declaration so to speak saying that if there is any problem with respect to easement right over that passage we undertake to solve it now the temporary electricity connection which was given which can be taken away any time that is already existing over that same passage it is only when they come to install the final connection they have to lay the underground cable and they will put it back again then the private respondents object saying that we will not let any uh, what are the private respondents who are the private respondents lot ship the private respondents are just give me the mic my lord i am i am for the respondent number no, i will come to you definitely one of the owners of the land yes mr shorkar i'll hear the private respondents the lot council is not yes you say my lord why i objected my lord the petitioner number 1 shakti bodo jana Uh, subject to correction, my lord, he loves to ta take up the land reforms in his own hands. Firstly, my lord, the da purported dark number eighteen and fifteen. How does he take it up? With I am a shovel. Or... I am addressing my lord. Eighteen and fifteen. He firstly filled up the ponds there and built his house. Then, my lord, when the electric electricians and concerned authorities came to lay his high tension and low tension cable, as he uh, pre as he may ma made the uh, ponds for, he said that let the common passage be as it as it is let the cables be let the let the adjacent plots which are owned by the all the local resident be digged up and the cables be laid there so the you have uh, no objection if it is taken under the common passage no my lord let, let not my that is what i have want that is what i have wanted your lord friend is uh, also with you yes lord so your objections are turned down no my lord i am saying that let the cable be laid under the common passage i am also saying so Yes, they are also saying so. They are also saying so. so that is our case, Lord. An no. alternative way is also there, my Lord, for laying the cables. But he wants to dig up the adjacent plots of lands, which are we are the owners. <laughs> my Lord, that has never been the case. It's on record. Very good. The petitioners contend that the petitioners purchased the property and sought a power electricity connection there. For some, however, due to objection of the private respondents, the same could not be given by the WPACD sale. For some, it is argued that. the vendors of the petitioners comma to whom the common passage belonged comma also transferred the easement rights over such passage to the petitioners for sub a separate document was also entered into on such score for sub next para learned council submits that the petitioners are already enjoying a temporary connection but when the same was sought to be converted to a permanent connection by laying underground cables under the common passage comma the private respondents have raised objections for sub next para learned council for the wbacd sale submits that the wbacd sale attempted to give such connection but due to objection by the private respondents comma the same could not be given for sub next para learned council appearing for the private respondents contends that 
on principle comma the private respondents have no objection if the connection is taken beneath the common passage to the petitioner's property to sub however comma in the garb of doing so comma the petitioners are attempting to dig up the adjacent properties of the private respondents and others full stop next para as such comma the private respondents were compelled to raise such objection full sub next para it transpires from hearing learned counsel for all the parties that none of the parties have any objection if the petitioners take permanent electricity connection beneath the common passage which leads to the petitioners property full stop uh, now comma without disturbing the adjacent properties uh, around such passage full stop next para hence comma wpa 16016 of 2023 is disposed of by directing the wbacdcl to give electric permanent electricity connection to the petitioners as applied for and paid for by the petitioners comma to the petitioners property beneath by laying cables beneath the common passage over which the petitioners have easementary rights and leads to the petitioners property for sub such exercise shall be completed by the wbacdcl within 4 weeks cable has to be laid down yes, within 4 weeks from date for sub in the event any obstruction is caused by the private respondents in complying with the above directions comma it will be open to the wbacdcl personnel to approach respondent number 2 the officer in charge of the new town police station for adequate police assistance in which case the uh, respondent number 2 shall act on a server copy of this order and provide such assistance to the wbacd cell personnel for the limited purpose as indicated above comma at the cost of the petitioners no address to cost sergeant sir my lord may i seek one indulgence my lord my lord kindly record my submission that there is another alternative way and site to give the electricity my lord that has no nexus no, how is that relevant to my lord the common then the dispute will be gone the common passage dispute there is other whole lord, other can't site. blow hot and cold at the same time my lord uh, to give connection upon fulfillment of all, all other costs you said they had paid No, we've we've paid lot. Actually, I'm asking them to the director to uh, give electricity connection subject to compliance of all formalities by the people. Great, great. Twenty. I'm appearing for the petition number. Yes, please. Who is for the? You are for the. Yes. Lordship, the petitioner applied for a new electricity connection. Lordship, in in the month of February twenty. Have you got the communication, uh, mission? Yes. Lordship, I talked to my client. Lordship, he has not received any communication from the department, my lord. Splitting up of load. Lord Chief, I, I can you give a copy to her also? Lord Chief, I gone through the uh, content of this letter, my lord. Can you allow me to submit two minutes? The no, splitting of load. If it's splitting of load, you have a remedy before the uh, grievance is resolved. Yes. I'll give that relief to. I mean, I'll give that liberty to you. Yes, my lord. Learned counsel for the petitioner contends that the petitioner applied for new electricity connection, which was not given by the WBACD cell. Who sub learned counsel for the WBACD cell, comma, pursuant to assurance given to the court on October ten, twenty twenty three, comma. hands over a photocopy of a communication dated march 31 2023 indicating that the petitioner is already enjoying an electricity connection at the premises and the wbacd cell apprehends splitting up of load in the event a new connection is given at the same premises full stop next para the said copy is kept on record full stop next para in view of an objection regard acha na arctal and learned counsel for the petitioner disputes that the petitioner has received such communication for sub next para be that as it may comma since an objection as to apprehended splitting of load has been taken by the uh, distribution licensee comma which has to be uh, decided by the competent forum in law that is the concerned grievance redressal officer comma this court chooses not to interfere at this juncture for sub WPA eighteen one one three of twenty twenty three is disposed of with liberty to the petitioner to approach the concerned grievance redressal officer with the dispute as raised herein. Full stop. If so approached, comma the grievance redressal officer shall decide all such issues between the parties in accordance with law upon giving adequate opportunity of hearing to all concerned at the earliest, comma preferably within November thirty twenty twenty three. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. 
suspension by reason of certain uh, non compliance in the uh, suspension clause itself hmm. now the next step which is required not under the contract suspension was in the nature of blacklisting or debarment hmm. banning B- banning very hmm. not for this job because this was complete no this is the same job same job arising out of the same job banning as your lordship knows me is for the future, future. yes Now, Miller. Thereafter, Miller, under the contract, Miller, they have to grant me a performance certificate. Now, Miller, this performance certificate has been issued. The certificate is like this: that yes, you have passed class uh, ICSC, but you have failed in class eight. The, this is the nature of the performance certificate. Miller, may the Lord Chief kindly have a look to my page two hundred and twenty-eight, which is under challenge. Yes. Then we'll I'll come to Miller the uh, relevant clause. Hmm. It starts at two hundred and twenty-eight. Yes. Miller paragraph number one: the contract for so and so, so and so was awarded to so and so in consortium between such and such. Contract well uh, as per the consortium agreement, the performance certificate is being issued. At the rate of ninety-seven point two percent of the contract value to AMPL and two point nine percent contract value to Mrs. Swenso, the contract had been executed from Swenso period to Swenso period. Then paragraph number two is Miller, uh, the quantity awarded vis-a-vis executed Miller. These are Miller the uh, statistics. Yes. Miller uh, two, I am not con- uh, aggrieved. Three, I am not aggrieved. Now can you take note four? Penalty imposed under the provisions of the contract has been tabulated below, under clause 18A of the NIT penalty against performance failure less than 80% supply, rupees 56,000 lakhs, under clause 22A to C of NIT WTS ratio less than 20 times of the scrap is such and such. Penalty imposed for repeated attempts of malpractice is such and such. Penalty imposed for CISF for late. Uh, late gate pass cancellation is so and so under clause 19k ground clearance so and so penalty against safety violation etc etc total penalty imposes one crore twenty six lakhs then para five for violation of the provisions of the contract and other irregularities observed during the execution of the contract some of the administrative punitive actions taken against AMPL the leader of the consortium of the contract are as follows warning letters and penalty. Of rupees ten thousand imposed, video letter number etc. for transporting WTS being heavily underloaded. Then warning letters and penalty for safety violation of safety and security norms. Then warning letter for incidents of truck transporting some scrap other than the designated scrap as per the challenge. Then six is suspension and banning action in view of the malpractices on the part of the consortium led by so and so. During the execution of the contract, banning of business dealings under the provisions of of the contract has been initiated against the constituent partners of the consortium. That is so and so and so and so. This is has been stayed by this honourable court. When was the stay granted, Mr. Sir? That stay was granted before this. Before this issue. Yes, yes. May it be. Sixth July, twenty twenty. Sixth July, page two twenty three. Twenty two. Twenty three. Twenty three. Then after this. Yes. Then after this. Uh, this was in July, June twenty. This is twenty first June. Uh, I July... think we have received this after this order was passed, subject to correction. But even no, no. Six July, the order is coming. Pilam. Anyway, I mean, what I mean. Oh, so I understand correctly. I got it. Uh, we received it before that. Now, Mr. This is Mr. The, the performance certificate, Mr. Which has been issued to me. Now, kindly have a look to Mr. The relevant clauses. There are two clauses. 
at page 182. Regarding uh, issuance of performance certificate? Yes. Please check 9.8 and 10. Hmm. As soon as in the opinion of the engineer works have, have, have been virtually completed, the engineer shall on receiving a written undertaking by the contractor to finish any outstanding work during the period of maintenance issue of a certificate of issue of a certificate of virtual completion in respect of the works and the period of maintenance of the work shall commence from the date of such certificate provided that the engineer may give such certificate with respect to a substantial part of the work which has been both completed to the satisfaction of the engineer and occupied or used by the employer and when any such certificate is given in respect of a part of the work, such part shall be considered as completed and the period of maintenance for such part shall commence from the date of such certificate, provided that always a certificate of virtual completion given in accordance with the foregoing provisions of and part of the works occupied and used as aforesaid shall not be deemed to certify completion of any ground or surface requiring reinstatement unless such certificate shall expressly so state. Then please take me to 10, which is a follow-up of 9.8. In these conditions, the expression period of maintenance shall mean a period of six months or any other period you specifically uh, specified in the, in the special conditions of contract calculated from the date of completion of the work certified by the engineer in accordance with clause 9.8 hereof or in the event more than one certificate having been issued by this engineer under the said clause from the respective date so certified and in relation to the period of maintenance the expression the works shall be construed accordingly. But the purpose is 9.8 and 10. The purpose is only to carry out Millard any maintenance job is required. Now please come back to Millard page 228. Yes. Certificate of comp completion and performance certificate are these are uh, uh, synonymous. Yes, so but they mean different things. Performance, if if they say performance. They can be dissatisfied with their performance also. Millard, under Millard, if 9.8 and 10 are applicable, subject to correction by my learned friend, hmm. then Millard, there is no scope for having item numbers. Any extraneous, extraneous yes. things. Yes. Yes. Then Millard, it, it is, this is Millard, a legal malice. Because I need this certificate for my future uh, contracts to participate in the future because this would be a credential for me. Right in respect of future participation. So you have challenged, yes. <laughs> Therefore, we'll challenge me a lot. Uh, uh, four, five, and six. Hmm. At page 229. I mean, this is uh, with respect to legal malice. Hmm. There is no uh, legal excuse as to why this is me uh, Attached or added to the uh, performance certificate. Okay. Yes, what do you say? Uh, my Lord, in paragraphs 21, 23, and 25 of the writ petition, they have nowhere stated that these statements made in clauses 4, 5, and 6 are either untrue or incorrect. Even if they're correct, yes. what is the scope of in, uh, those inputs in your completion certificate sure. as per 9.8? As per 9.8, 9.8 does not provide... It's not a, not a uh, biography you're writing of no. these people. No, it's a performance certificate. It is as it as is mentioned in the that letter only, page 228. 9.8 says completion certificate. Lord Shiv. So whatever it is, I mean... Whether you only have to state whether they have completed, if completed, up to how much? My Lord, subject to correction. Hmm. Clause 9.8, which my learned senior friend has already placed, mm. does not provide a format. No. No, it does not. Does not provide a format. The petitioner mm. cannot claim a statutory right to have a completion certificate issued in a particular form. Mm -hmm. 
therefore no statutory right of the or constitutional right of the petitioner has been valid as far as we understood these things have happened they have not denied that these have not happened or they are untrue we have in incorporated them page 228 if my lord kindly sees paragraph 1 mentions that as per the consortium agreement the performance certificate is being issued yeah. and they have accepted that As, uh, as far as the order dated 6 july that work which was done by them was that to your satisfaction there is no mention of something of that sort you have only uh, mentioned something else that they were suspended yes must be on certain grounds we had penal clauses were imposed we had initiated the suspension of business dealings procedure the quality of work was there what was your allegation uh, in the suspension my lord was the nature of allegation for the suspension the investigation was initiated no what was the nature of allegations mal practices but mal practices but then the, there the, is already my lord has granted stay that regarding that i mean whatever happens in that petition but you cannot do this completion certificate is very specific you, you, the scope is work which has been completed to the satisfaction of the engineer only that can be reflected if it was regarding malpractices that is different i mean for that whatever happens in that petition if you win if oh, you win. that is another part but subject to correction by lord uh, as i i would be repeating so this is all i mean this is the these are the arguments what else can be there just a uh, couple of more things when the order dated 6 july 2023 was was they had already received this certificate hmm. it was not brought to the notice of my lord what else uh, my lord has seen page 228 this certificate yes it has emanated from the authority which is has its office at bokaro jharkhand the they did the work where there bokaro jharkhand so how do they derive jurisdiction yes. here they received it here yes paragraph 34 of the writ petition at page 27 is their pleading as to territorial jurisdiction the three points that i understand they have urged is that all correspondences were received by the petitioner at their address here in within the jurisdiction of this honorable court hmm. and uh, this certificate has also been received by the petitioner within the jurisdiction and the third point is they continue to suffer loss at the at the address of the petition i would humbly submit my lord no part of the cause of action has arisen within the jurisdiction of this honorable court good and so let me hear mr dattan reply lord yes yes mr dattan territorial jurisdiction first then the uh, jurisdiction my lord in the at the by banning stage my lord uh, my learned friend was not here or any other learned advocate was not representing my lord i have myself my lord stated Hmm. please have a look to me at page 223 on the territorial aspect that was dealt, dealt with yes yes so in the stay order yes. yes at page 226 in the fourth page or this from 2014 meter Yes, deal with. My lord, uh, that. But I tell you, Lord Chief Minister, at the uh, at this moment, Lord, I don't have that judgment. 2014, my lord, uh, Supreme Court, my lord, have uh, delivered the judgment that where, my lord, the impugned communication is received. I'll give the my lord citation. 
uh, impugned communication is received will not part cause of action arises under Article 226. There are judgments both ways. There are judgments but both the, ways. this is the, uh, to my, my knowledge, uh, one of the latest. So I'll pass my order, set aside. My Lord is disposing of the petition. Yes. Nothing else requires to be produced. Hmm. Any other document you want to produce? There is no scope of any other document. In view of the issue being involved pertaining to the documents already annexed to the writ petition, comma, further affidavits are not directed, full stop. It is deemed, comma, however, comma, that none of the allegations made in the writ petition are admitted by the respondents. Full stop next para. Learned senior counsel for the petitioner contends that the present challenge has been preferred against uh, within double inverted performance certificate, double inverted close issued on June 21, 2023 by the respondent authorities, that is the Steel Authority of India Limited, bracket is sale, bracket closed, on the request of the petitioner. For sub, however, comma, the said certificate contains several extraneous allegations, stroke facts, comma, which are dehorse clause 9.8 of the agreement between the parties, comma, which empowers the respondent authorities to issue a completion certificate. Push up. For example, comma, it is contended that clause 4 of the said document speaks about penalty imposed against the petitioner, comma, clause 5 about alleged violation of provisions of the contract by the petitioner and clause 6 about suspension and banning action against the petitioner. Push up. It is pointed out that in any event, comma, the suspension is under challenge in a separate writ petition, which is now pending. And an order of stay of operation of the state suspension has already been granted by the court, which is still subsisting. Push up. Next para. Leonard Senior Counsel places reliance on the provisions of Clause 9.8 and argues that the same does not contemplate mention of such extraneous factors in a completion certificate, stroke performance certificate. Push up next para. Leonard Counsel for the respondent authorities raises an objection as to territorial jurisdiction of this court, first up, by pointing out to the address of the Steel Authority of India Limited as depicted in the impugned certificate itself, comma, it is argued that the territorial jurisdiction lies with the High Court at Jharkhand and not this court, comma, since the decision was taken and the certificate issued by the authorities at Jharkhand. Push up next para. It is further argued that when the order of stay was obtained in connection with the suspension of the petitioner in a separate writ petition, comma, the performance certificate under challenge was already served on the petitioners, but the petitioner never raised such issue before the court while moving the application for stay. For sub next para, thirdly, comma, learned counsel argues that clause 9.8 merely speaks about the issuance of a completion certificate and does not specify any specific format for such certificate. First step, thus, comma, the petitioner does not have any statutory or other right to compel the respondents to issue the certificate in a particular format. Full stop. Next para. Upon considering uh, arguments of learned counsel, comma, the sinosure of attention with regard to the present dispute becomes clause 9.8 of the doc agreement between the parties. First sub next para. The said provision uh, is captioned as within double inverted certificate completion of work. Double inverted close. Full stop. Next para. As per the language of the said provision, comma, as soon as in the opinion of the engineer, the works have been virtually completed, comma, the engineer shall, comma, on receiving a written undertaking by the contractor as stipulated therein, comma, issue a certificate of virtual completion in respect of the wor works. First up, next para, it is indicated that the engineer may give such a certificate with respect to any substantial part of the works 
which has been both completed to the satisfaction of the engineer and occupied or used by the employer full stop next para thus comma the only indication of the contents of the certificate in clause 9.8 pertains to the factum of the work in question having been completed and having been completed to the satisfaction of the engineer as well as the same being occupied or used by the employer full stop next para however comma in the instant case comma in the garb of a performance certificate comma the respondent authorities have issued a virtual legal biography of the of the petitioner in so far as the authorities have mentioned every instance of penalty and perceived violation as well as suspension which has operated against the petitioner for sub evidently a uh, legal malice as argued by the petitioner is involved on the part of the authorities comma since there is nothing in clause 9.8 which indicates that the entire history of action taken against the petitioner has to be mentioned in a completion certificate full stop a completion certificate comma which has been interchangeably used with the expression single inverted performance certificate in the present case comma contemplates comma as the name suggests comma the extent of work which has been completed and the same having been completed to the satisfaction of the concerned engineer and the fact that the said work is occupied or used by the employer full stop next para nothing extra comma beyond the above uh, yards uh, beyond the above uh, components can be incorporated in a completion certificate full stop moreover comma the suspension which has also been mentioned in the certificate is already suffering an order of stay in a subjudice matter for sub next para even apart from the same comma the penalties comma perceived violations and suspension of the petitioner previously cannot comprise a part of the completion certificate for sub such mention shall evidently adversely prejudice the petitioners whenever the petitioner seek to participate in a subsequent contract full stop next para even if the allegations made in the said paragraphs are partially correct comma the same does not necessarily imply that those will have to be incorporated in a mere completion certificate full stop next para a completion certificate has to be in terms of clause 9.8 of the contract and the same can only contain comma as indicated above comma the quantity and extent of the work the fact that the same has been done to the satisfaction of the engineer and that and the component of occupation or user by the employer for sub next para in such view of the matter comma the performance certificate issued and impugned herein uh, cannot but be set aside for sub accordingly wpa 18564 of 2023 is allowed thereby setting aside the performance certificate dated june 21 2023 uh, within bracket annex p3 at page 228 of the writ petition bracket closed and directing the respondent stroke sale to issue a fresh completion certificate in terms of clause 9.8 of the agreement between the parties in the light of the observations made above comma within a period of a fortnight from date full stop no orders to cause urgency report please so the judgment which i was uh, referring to is reported in 2014 volume 9 scc 329 oh i have not touched uh, territorial jurisdiction so a uh, last sentence rage act line add ko as far as territorial jurisdiction is concerned comma the petitioners have pleaded that the petitioner uh, that the concerned correspondence between the parties with regard to the present cause of action comma which are also a part of the bundle of facts which comprise of the cause of action comma took place in and from calcutta kolkata full stop moreover comma the impugned certificate was received by the petitioner at kolkata full stop 
the genesis of the issuance of the certificate was a request by the petitioner comma which was also made from kolkata full stop that apart comma the petitioners uh, work within the territorial jurisdiction of this court shall also be adversely affected in the event the impugned performance certificate is used by the petitioner full stop next para hence comma this court has territorial jurisdiction within the contemplation of article 226 within bracket 2 of the constitution of india comma since at least a part of the cause of action arises within the territorial jurisdiction of this court first up next para accordingly wpa jeta bolo and give maybe four weeks instead of a fortnight my lord very well a for, a fortnight na korota within four weeks kore din four weeks four weeks four weeks okay that's four weeks my lord item number 23 my tender has been cancelled my lord the Very bank at original side matters will record may i mention a original side matter my lord yes, this so is the december saran matter my lord dot chip has fixed it on tuesday because mr shen somrat shen is yes. not there but, uh, till friday my lord if my lord takes it up on monday my lord tuesday i might be in some other side is there. Lord, i have upon problem. notice i mention they have i am upon notice i'll take it up on monday monday did i pass a formal order yes dot yes. chip sure. Yeah, Lord Chief had said at the top of list on Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, give a uh, slip of that matter. Well, the, uh, I'm giving. I'll call it to be mentioned at the other. Let it appear as to be mentioned. I'll, I'll Lord uh, Chief. I mean, my own. No, no. Call it to be mentioned. Top it. Beautiful, Chief. Just remind me, Mr. Choudhury, or yes, yes, uh, I'll, be I'll be there. I'll be. I'll just. Item number one: Onirban Rai Choudhury and others versus State of West Bengal and others. Yes, Mr. Secretary. <laughs> स्टूडेंट द I can comment only on you. Ah, Jait. That you know anything? Move your matter. You know the, there is a development. Mr. Thakur was instrumental in calling the three thirty. <laughs> you are casting aspersions on him yesterday. He is dealing the matter. Insinuations, not aspersions. You know, he is my very good friend. I will not cast anything on him. That is a prelude to abusing people. Very good friend, with due respect. Utmost respect means the utmost abuse, which you regularly use in court. I mean, to the court. I'm going to call him for one. You know, this is a development, you know, which has taken place yesterday. Yes. Yesterday. You know, already an action under Section 16B2 has been taken. initiated. So happy. 
he cannot contain his happiness himself so very well no urgency there so they have to respond to this one and two is milord apart from that milord we were this is one of our relief straight for now the functioning of this board of managers milord they have already milord demitted office in the sense milord they have written to under the compulsory. residents under to the residents Right. You know they have circulated it in their official whatever. So it was to the officer in charge of a police. No, you know also to the residents. Residents. Very well. Then, you know indicating that they have all you know thirty eight of them have already you know put in their papers. I'll put it. I'll take it up after the vacation then. Now you know in the meantime who is going to function? In the meantime you will also not probably be there. No, no. Sixteen two notices given. Nobody will be there. You know the matter will be contested. Someone has to function. The competent authority has to ensure that the that show is done. The competent authority, sir. You know that has the show has to run. Move you know, the competent authority for that. You know, can, can, today, you know, we are looking at an order passed by the competent authority. Please see, you know, the competent authority's order, page two ninety four. Sixteen B two notice has been issued, Mr. Bhattacharya. What remains? Well, at sixteen B two notices have been issued, which has, well, at which is coming from our end. They have not said anything regarding sixteen B two. They not, not a child. Don't be childish on this. No, It's no, no. Very well. Whoever has pointed out. Well, at now done. It has been done, maybe. But well, at the question is, what happens during the interregnum? Move am... the move the competent authority for that. Administration is the domain of the competent authority. Now, well, at It is there. We have already approached him. Chief. Yes. Well, at now, well, please understand. Kindly, kindly bear with me. Well, for some time. Now, well, please see the order. Please Page see. Page two ninety four. Two ninety four. Page fifty. Ajuka. Yes, two ninety four. Now, please see page two ninety eight. On perusal, I'm sorry. Hmm. On perusal of the documents and after hearing the parties. This authority has found that board of managers has failed to perform its duties, its functions on some areas under the set bylaws for the following reasons. You know, I skip one, I come to two. One is very important, but I come to two. The bylaws do not mandate that the minutes of the board meeting be uh, shared with the members. However, the board has not convened special general meeting for more than six months after taking charge in the month of July 22. This very act. is against the interest of the members of the association no budget for the year this was placed before the members in any general meeting whereas expenditures were made without budget approval here milon i am joining you apart from anything else this is milon financial mismanagement at the instance of these persons milon mm. who are running the show and milon without complying with necessary formalities milon they have appointed one uh, outside agency and milord they are milord minded to milord extract from all these residents 75 crores milord imagine milord a uh, 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 housing complex milord where a facade is to be built repairs are to be made and milord for that a capital expenses milord to the tune of 75 crores and all is contemplated and the uh, uh, ca please see what he has done 16 1 Six. Apart from that, you know, he has come to this finding. Hmm. You know, here, please see three zero one. Yes. Place the terms and conditions of this agreement. between the association and the property management company namely prism before the members in an sgm for any direction on the same whereas his finding is whereas his finding is 7 page 299 this board unilaterally decided the terms and conditions of the agreement between the association and the property management company namely prism which is violation of bylaw 12 211 despite coming to this finding he calls for you know curing this defect you know it is an inherent lack you know i say you know with conviction you know <laughs> looking into the bylaws you know this company its engagement everything has to be discussed in a proper meeting you know admittedly they admit 
apropos milord the notice served on them by the ca on the 3rd of july pursuant to my lord's uh, intervention milord that the ca is to look into it when the ca writes to him calling for an explanation he says that there has been no meeting he says that there has been no placement of accounts anywhere and despite this milord if the competent authority today milord today the competent authority has milord an action has been triggered from his end maybe milord after the intervention after the matter was served on him the writ petition was served on him and milord it was brought to his notice but milord the directions here if today milord bakuts what they are minded milord thereafter they sat in an open air meeting milord calling it some name not a general meeting not a special meeting milord they call some some sort of a meeting they have called, open, house. open house meeting milord and in that open house meeting they decide that is not contemplated anywhere in this law and they may not decide to take steps may not they even write to the ca that all these findings of yours are incorrect or are in your over zealousness you have done it there is a representation by them on the 60 both sides are agreed against these findings yes he is agreed he has not assailed it no he has not he has not assailed it we are saying so that then mr thakkar must be happy if i stay this up the stay the operation of this sort to to mr thakkar may be happy you know i am very unhappy over their functioning you know kindly visualize i be happy you are also asking for a stay of this operation you know stay of this operation no i am saying i am con i am seeking an order from your lordship that some independent person not now having regard to the nature of allegation so what is the cc the, the competent authority is in you know then you know today, today if this if this you know resign board managers there is no board managers today there is no board manager today will not there will be utter chaos in the entire system will not the ca is represented perhaps will not mr siddiqui is appearing i think i do not know whether he is representing the poor ca poor mr siddiqui is yes. then poor can he is not poor not financially but no, no. <laughs> will not uh, let him decide he is there let him decide no let him come back and say what he proposes to do he'll come back definitely but no, no, after, no, no, what, after 16th of november but but, but but in the meantime what happens but no, i put this question entirely to myself and not kindly put to the administrator you take care of the i do not know in the matter on merits i'll appoint an administrator but who will run the show i put wrong this court. question Mr. to myself Mr. this is wrong, wrong. Not, i am before the court. absolutely wrong you know i am before the highest court of the state i am bringing it to your lordship's notice glaring findings of financial mismanagement people are being whacked people are being not mercilessly beaten up mr bhattacharya before hearing the matter repetition merits those are prima facie allegations we <laughs> cannot i cannot rely on that and appoint an arbit uh, uh, an administrator which is a final relief in the writ petition mr what milord uh, b- b- milord b- b- just for this first stage is a test stage reason milord people have to be paid bonus everything has to run the show has to continue this management cannot continue in this milord teething allegations and they are no more in existence milord they are no more in existence no 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 milord it is not my allegation it's a finding it's a finding it's not an allegation of the competent, competent competent authorities finding is there not my allegation right. my allegation was when i moved your lordship court right today it's a finding of the competent authority which has not been disturbed anywhere hmm. so i'm not having regard to the nature of findings and having regard to the subsequent development which has taken place milord i respectfully say that this management should not be permitted to run the show even for a single day. once more revisit those those uh, those findings milord I, let us revisit those findings milord, please. page 298 milord please let come. us see whether they justify the immediate appointment of an administrator milord, please. just please milord, those please come no annual general there meeting. was no annual general meeting in the year 2022 for the financial year this this is violation of 5 hmm. the bylaws do not mandate the minutes of the meeting be uh shared with the members however the board has not convened a special meeting for more than 6 months uh, after taking charge in the month of J- july 2022 this very act is against the interest of the members no budget for the year was placed before the members in any general meeting till january 23 whereas expenditures were made without budgetary approval then the board took charge on 1722 and it was the duty of the board to submit the audited financial statement for the year 2122 to the office of the competent authority by this the board failed to discharge the duty 
The board also did not publish the audited annual financial statement for the year 21-22 and did not send a soft copy to the same to all members through email or any other electronic mode. This is gross violation of bylaws. The board is maintaining its bank account namely ICICI, all the transactions, including payment of common expenses and receipt of the assets, some are done through the, this non-nationalized bank. This is violation of, you know, this is a curable thing. This can be cured. Even today, they have not rectified it, despite there being a direction to you know, make it, you know, the State Bank of India, something. The board removed the security agency and appointed a new security agency, namely SIS, without complying the provisions contained in bylaw this. This board did not share the name of the, you know, this kindly ignores, kindly comes to the next one. The board unilaterally decided the terms and conditions of the agreement between the association and the property management company, namely PRISM, which is violation of uh, rule this. What was this about? You know, this was concerning, you know, uh, the development in that particular complex, you know, common areas development, the mainly the facade. And you know, the expenses, you know, projected expenses was 75 crores. 75 crores without consent of anyone, without even taking, and you know, this entire arrangement was done and they admit that they did not do it upon you not know, obtaining a proper tender or you not know, opening a process. They started demanding money from the members. And they started demanding money from members. If the members fail to... Uh, and you know, when people security fail, sir. the security men, you know, they are set at large and they may not, you know, create havoc in the uh, apartment. You know, that may be an allegation. To that extent, may be an allegation. But, but the fact remains, you know, this is a admitted factual position. And you know, then, you know, then the last one, the board has appointed more than one. This is also something curable. You know, nine is important. The board has not prepared budget for this in expenditure recovery module, which is also violation of this. Said, they have not complied with these directions also. No. no. Till date, no endeavor. 18 September. No, please see their 18 September letter. 316, kindly come. They have counted all these findings. And I'm taking your lordship one by one. I do not want to trouble your lordship. This is how they have refuted the findings. Addressed to the competent authority. They have circulated this. And they say that these findings are not, not in sync with whatever the evidence was on record. But they refrain from not assailing the competent authority's findings. And not what they do thereafter is they hold this not meeting. Mm. Yes, they refute the directions also. Yes. At page 320. Yes. Last paragraph. Right. So, you know, this being the factual position, you know, what according to you, who should be appointed as an administrator? You know, anyone whom your lordship chooses. You know, even an ex honorable judge, uh, district judge, anywhere, anyone, ex whoever your lordship wants to call, anyone. Remuneration? The society, the management, the management, uh, the, the society, management. society will funds are with them still now. You know, from he will hand over the funds. They will. Of course, he'll pay himself or she'll pay him. Very well. Let us hear Mr. Thakur. Yes, Mr. Thakur. On interim orders. Only interim order. Well, let kindly see the orders sought in the writ itself. Kindly see press page 58. Prayer B, quashing and or set aside the impugned order. Quashing or setting aside the impugned order. Kindly see prayer C. Yes. Directing the competent authority to revisit the entire issue and all the grievances of the writ petitioner as stipulated in the various complaints made, that my, made by them and also in this writ petition once again by giving opportunity of hearing to all concerned and to pass a reasoned order with specific direction upon the board of managers. Similar, he wants his complaint to be heard. He wants an order of remand. This is the main relief which is sought. Now, kindly see. Competent authority to exercise his power under subsection 2. So, he decides what the competent authority is going to do. So, what is C then? He pre-decides. He wants a direction from the court that you direct competent authority to do 16.2b in an order of remand. This is press C. 
I am sorry, prayer D. Then, my Lord, kindly see. Prayer F. Immediate intervention. Now, he sees under E, he says immediate intervention under section 16B2. Immediate intervention is not contemplated in 16B2. 16B2 has a procedure. Show cause. Reply to show cause. Considered final order made. There is no scope of any uh, administrator appoint. Even the competent authority perhaps cannot do that, my Lord, subject to correction. Competent authority removes everybody under 16B2, but that is after show cause reply, hearing. There is no intervention. So what he now, the interim relief which is sought from your lordship is beyond the scope of the act. Then can your lordship will see B and C. That answers, my lord, his prayer for interim relief. Then kindly see F. Mandamus directing the present board of managers and also the president of the board of managers to act lawfully and to take decision. This is the final relief prayer F. So till the board, even if this final relief is to be granted, he can't pray, my lord, for the interim relief which is seeking here. Interim relief is only in aid of the final relief. And then kindly see, my lord, prayer, uh, a GH, I don't want to trouble you, lordship, but now kindly see what is the interim orders which he wants. Interim order of injunction restraining the board from carrying out functioning of PMC appointed by them illegally and beyond the provisions of law until the disposal of the writ petition. What does the PMC do, my lord? The PMC does not execute any contract he just supervises or advises he has an advisory jurisdiction and i'll show your lordship how the pmc came to be appointed upon notice to them and the appointment was approved by the sgm in the sgm i'll show your lordship that the competent authority doesn't consider that and then my lord kindly see l interim order of injunction restraining the present board from functioning as the board of managers any further per my lord, this relief uh, in this interim relief does not flow from the main relief sought my lord this is beyond the scope of the relief sought in the petition itself and beyond the scope of the act. Now, my lord, kindly see a lot of a lot was said, my lord, about the directions. We are come, we are in the representation which was shown to your lordship post the order was made, my lord. We have said that we will comply with the directions, the last, last but one line of the last paragraph. 321. My lord, this is it is like this. As I as I see it, my lord, perhaps there is an order which is made. There are observations in that order, but there is an order which is made. There may be observations in that order, but if I am not aggrieved by the operative portion or the directions which are given therein, I need not assail that order. What my learned friend says that you have not assailed is, now in this writ petition, I will say that these directions are all wrong, these findings are wrong. I'll show that to your lordship as a prima facie. So certain directions were given, which are the operative portion of that order. Now, my lord, kindly see the operative. You have to put the money in, the, in a nationalized Yes, bank. I'm doing that. Now, my lord, it is now. Kindly see what the rules say. The bylaws says you open an account of the association with a nationalized bank. That is very simple, my lord. You do the KYC, the account of the operation can be, association can be opened. But this has been going on since 2019. I was not the board in 2019. I have come in only in 22, 23. And my learned friend doesn't tell your lordship, nor does this authority notice that there are 1300 accounts which need to be opened, which cannot be opened without the cooperation of all the members. Why 1300? Each now, that is the issue. Manad, even I was surprised. Okay. This All the occupants open one account with the bank. And with that bank, the association also opens an account. The occupants de uh, deposit their common area maintenance charges in their respective accounts. Fr and from those accounts, money is transferred to the account of the association. So there's no reconciliation. Otherwise, if, if 18... Why can't they directly deposit in the... In then they, then this is a procedure which has been followed since 2019 to avoid reconciliation trouble. Now, 1,800 checks go into the account. 1800 people deposit into the account i don't know whose check has come so you can open the you can transfer the money of the of the association only uh, yeah. to, uh, to internationalist bank correct my lord but here I care about the others no no the money has to be paid every month on account of common area maintenance charges that is the only source of income for the association and then from that it meets the requirements the expenditure if the so you got properly audited accounts of the inter transactions in our melody, yes. Now the whole your lordship will now see. I am making an I am inviting the court to appoint a forensic auditor for the period 2019 till 2023. Hmm. 22 to 21 to 22. The accounts were not submitted at the AGM. At and these people have been instigated by the outgoing management. When did you come in? The I came in on 22nd July on 22 July, July 2022. And the uh, CAS holds 
that the accounts for the previous year have not been given. That is correct. It has not been given. So if accounts are directed to be furnished from April 22 to till date. I am giving at the SGM. That is, he has held that you've done it at the SGM, but after six months, he says this is violation of the bylaws. Your lordship will see the bylaw. This. How do you deal with these observations? Yes, of one. This? I'll just show your lordship. Prima facie, how I deal with these observations on the face of it. Kindly come to page two ninety eight. These observations two ninety eight onwards. Yes. There was no annual general meeting of the association in the year twenty twenty two for the year financial year twenty one twenty two. This is in violation of absolutely correct because the outgoing management. Yes, outgoing management did not. And these are the people who are now masquerading before your lordship as your, your election has not been challenged. Your appointment. No. Very. Well. I I was appointed. Before elect you. Yes. So now, my lord. Two. Everything before you. One is before me. The yes. bylaws do not mandate the minutes. This is relevant. However, the board has not convened SGM for more than six months after taking charge in the month of July 22. Yes. This is yes. correct. Hmm. This very act is against the interests of the members. No budget for the year 2022-23 was placed before the members in any AGM till January 23, whereas expenditures... Now, Millard, the bylaw 5C says the budget for the next year has to be passed at the AGM. This was not done. The AGM for 21-22, which was held, did not pass the budget for the next year because the outgoing management had to place the budget for the next year. This was a violation on their part. This SGM, the special general meeting was convened after six months because in the interregnum of six months, I have written at least 20 emails which are on record before your lordship in correspondence to the outgoing management that please hand me the records. I need to see what is the income, what is the expenditure and Malad, the bylaws don't say that an SGM has to be convened here and now. SGM has to be requisitioned and after that convened or the president can convene as and when he deems appropriate. That is what the bylaw says. What is the infraction of the bylaw? It's not stated by the competent authority. Then, Malad, kindly see three. The board took charge on 1st July. Your Lordship has the date. 1st July, it was the duty of the board to submit. Now, where do I get this? To submit the audited financial accounts for the year 21-22 to the office of the competent authority. Pages 117 to 128 of the writ petition. There are several emails written by me to the outgoing management that please hand over your accounts. Nothing. They don't get it audited. They don't hand it over. Again, I repeat, my lord, I invite your lordship to appoint a forensic auditor, not only for 21, 22, but from 19 till today, even when I am in office. Kindly do that. That would be beyond the scope of the writ petition. He, no I, I, I'm sure my learned friend will not object. I'm sure Mr. he will not object. You have not preferred any challenges. I have not. No, no, I have not. Just to justify your stand. I have not. My lord, I am only showing you can that. You cover your period. I am only... Cover my period, no difference. First July, first July, they can. That is not that is not the direction. Also, that there should be an audit. My learned friend does not pray for an audit. I am inviting an audit. I am in office. I am inviting an audit. My period as well as the past period. So, Malad, this is this. The I'll deal with the resignation also. The so, Malad, the fail to discharge that duty, 117 to 128, which were on record by before the competent authority, not considered. They did not send a soft copy, irrelevant. Board is maintaining its bank account in a nationalized bank. This, my lord, I am switching. This has been going on since 2019. Nobody has raised a grievance. Since 2019, including these members, they have not raised any grievance. Now, this has been switched over to State Bank of India. But to do that, my lord, all the residents of the association... Has been switched over? What do you mean by Is being switched over to State Bank of India. Okay. And my lord, all the residents have to cooperate by giving their KYC because all of their accounts have to... Have you asked for those? My lord, we are in the process. Then my lord, kindly see all transactions are being done. So this we are complying with. Board removed security agency and appointed. This is factually incorrect. Page 107 would show security agency one fine day said I'm leaving. And I have started proceedings against that security agency for termination without giving adequate notice. This is at page 107. Now, Malad, kindly see, he says, complying the provisions contained in bylaws 12 to 11. Kindly see the provisions of bylaw 12 to 11. Says, I will enter into a contract. That is the right of the board of members to enter into. It doesn't specify that you have to place the contract before. For everything which I do, it doesn't say you have to appoint an SGM or take the consent of the members. This they, uh, this this uh, pertains to the facade and 75 crore and all. Be beg your pardon, Malad? Uh, this which pertains to a facade. Uh, no, seven. Uh, seven. Board unilaterally decided the terms and conditions. Before. Yes, very interesting. That involves an uh, expenditure of 75 crore. No. Or no, 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 no. Kindly see what it involves, Mallard. Kindly see page 163. First, whether it was done without their consent, without 
everybody's knowledge and what was the process which was followed. Kindly see 163, which was before the competent authority. Mr. Thakur will continue tomorrow. This is the top matter tomorrow. Please, man. Tomorrow top. Tomorrow. tomorrow. See. Well, tomorrow I am leaving for Varanasi. I have to catch a train. I will not be there in court after 2 p.m. I can complete in less than one minute. Do it. I'm at seven. I'll complete in less than one minute. So because there's pressing urgency for my learned. Yes, yes. Kindly see 163. Mm. As it is, he's missed his three o'clock appointment. 160. Yes, time till the uh, late evening. Yes, 163. Yes, that quote is 160. 163. 163. This was which was filed before the competent authority. Right. This is the due process which is followed, my lord. Yes. Clarification of appointment of project management consultant. Well, this is a project management consultant. He is akin to a supervisor rendering well, expert advice on how this is to be done, what is to be done. He's not the contractor who's going to carry out the work. He and he gets only a negligible percent of the total work. Then, well, kindly see, or 28th August, my gate notice. So this is put on the official app of the of the entire residence. What is the C for consultant? Project management? Consultant. Okay. And Malad, kindly see serial one, 28th August 9, 2022, MyGate notice reference. MyGate is the app, app which is used by all the residents. And kindly see members were informed that the Committee on Facade and Basement Repair has recommended to appoint a PMC in this regard and also share the scope of the PMC. It was informed that the committee has decided to circulate the request for proposal through my gate and also posted Unison website for reference of all members. He says, I was not told. Nobody knew. Mm. He doesn't consider this. And kindly see the last, all this, this is the process which is followed. Kindly see the names which are there. CBRE, Colliers, Curry and Brown. Curry, I have not heard of Curry and Brown, but Colliers and CBRE are international agencies. And then kindly come to, kindly come to serial 13 at page 165. Nothing is considered by the competent authority. And I'll tell you a lot, Chip, why after I've completed this. Mm. Kindly come to 13. Objections towards appointment of PMC was sought through email to each owner with a Google form. Serial 13. Then kindly see. Contract is issued. Then kindly see serial 16. Budget and proposal placed at SGM and majority approval obtained for the CAM budget of 16 crores, inclusive of 2.25 lakhs towards PMC expense. Actual spend in 2023 is 4.5 lakhs against budget of 25 lakhs. This was presented hmm. at the SGM and approved by vote. Objections were raised. Objections were sought thrice from day one to day zero. Due process followed. Three pages. I have not taken your lordship through all the serials. Now, this is not considered at all by the this authority. Your lordship will not find a whisper of this in this. And I'm showing your lordship only which are documents on record. I have tons more which have not been produced here. Then, my lord, kindly see. So, this is my lord Prism 163. Board has appointed more than vice president. We've removed him. And then, wait, no, Baba. The board has not prepared budget for 22 23 in an expenditure recovery module, which is violation of bylaw 53C1. Bylaw 53C1 only says you have to present the budget, which we did in. Malo 2023 SGM doesn't say expenditure recovery. So let me hear Mr. Bhattacharya. Am Malo just one? Yes. And uh, what else? Page 170. Page 170. It's of 18. Minutes. 166. I'm sorry, Malo. Can you give me half a second? <laughs> Come back on Monday, Mr. Tech. Not like this. The prism is there in the AGM also. We'll come back on Monday. We'll, we'll let us yes. say it on Monday. Uh, a copy of an order dated October 10, 2023, passed by the competent authority under Section 16, Capital B, within bracket 2 of the West Bengal Apartment Ownership Act 1972, handed over by Learned Council for the petitioner, uh, be kept on record, full stop, heard Learned Council partially on the issue of grant of ad interim orders FUSAP, to be heard further on the said issue on uh, October 16, 2023. October 16, 2023.
তারপর এটা সেকেন্ড থাকবে দিস উইল বি দ্য সেকেন্ড আইটেম অন অন মানডে মানডে গ্রেটফুল থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ সেকেন্ড আইটেম অন মানডে তুমি মেনশন তো থাকবে মালোড আই এম এক্সট্রিমলি সরি টু ইন্টারাপ্ট ইউর লর্ডশিপ এট দ্য টাইম অফ রাইজিং মালোড ইটস অ্যান এক্সট্রিমলি আর্জেন্ট ম্যাটার আইটেম নাম্বার 33 অফ টুডেস অ্যাপলেটস আই ডেইলি লিস্ট অল মালোড ইটস আ ম্যাটার अबाउट अगेंस्ट द आईआईटी खड़गपुर अथॉरिटीज दे हैव गोन अहेड एंड शट डाउन द शॉप providing culinary services of the petitioner my lord is a senior citizen 14 families are dependent on that particular shop which is the item number 33, 33 my lord appellate side yes my lord very well this will be uh, under the top heading to work i'm grateful my lord oh yes what comes grateful 